All right, welcome sketchbook heroes. We're going to be drawing caricatures. I'm upside down and that's okay. Just saying hi. Um, we've uh, here just drawn for fun. We're going to be using wrap to draw and uh, helping people learn to draw. We're drawing this character here. Uh, ooh, um, uh, link in the chat. Actually, oh, when I post this, I'll put the link uh, to this drawing in the chat. In the, not the chat, in the, um, in the website on the <laughs> on the YouTube station. Okay, okay. So we're gonna draw this character, same height, same width. We're looking at the ratio. So that's a square. What's awesome about knowing that it's a square, you can draw it really small or you can draw it really big and it's gonna be accurate because you wanna aim for the same height, same width. So the same height, same width, we're drawing that square. So draw a square and it takes practice. So this would be when you're first learning to draw, uh, you're learning to judge, you're learning to observe. If you see a square, it has the same height, same width. And this is where you can use your pen or use uh, other things to kind of like measure, take measurements and, and see and observe and draw what you see. Not what you think you see. Sometimes what we think or see, your brain will trick you, but your brain will trick you. So we try to draw what we see, even though this is hard to see, but we're gonna be drawing that character here. All right, so um, ooh, real simple. First thing is our axis line. We need an axis line down the middle and break things down. Uh, when you're having trouble with something, you wanna break it down and simplify into smaller parts. So I'm breaking this down into fourths. That helps us uh, see where things are at. I can see the eyes are right at the uh, on the center line, which most eyes are, but they're way far apart. There's a big distance here in the middle. So if I find the middle of this side, here, this side, that's the middle side. Usually the eyes, I center them usually, or um, or bring them in slightly. But the, from the middle here, the eye is on the outside of that. So a uh, really simple eye, it's an oval eye, and there's a little bit of overlapping. So it's it's like a football shape. This one's a football shape. Um, I think that the bottom one is a little bit longer. So it's gonna be on this side of that line right there something like this and then the bottom the bottom kind of pulls down a little bit more pulls down a little bit more so the top a little straighter and the bottom pulls down a little bit more there's a little bit more of a curve and it's there do the same thing i'll wait a little bit and uh, let we'll do the other eye uh, i am going a little bit dark with that eyelid actually uh, darker than the in the drawing so again, here, here's the center on this side, on the right side, and I'm going to go ahead and, um, there we go, go make that little rainbow shape, and then pull the other side, the other side a little bit lower, a little bit more of a curve, a little rounder. There we go. And now time for the pupils. Usually sketch stuff in, this is uh, almost like drawing, drawing straight, so. Hopefully you don't get a false sense of what we're doing here. So I'm gonna. Uh, this is where there's a little bit of overlapping. Um, we're gonna put that eye there. There's no highlight or reflection, so I'm gonna just darken that out. I'm used to doing it. So there it is, right there. There's one pupil, and then let's go with the other pupil. All right, the other pupil's a little to the right. It's not totally centered. I don't know. I'm trying to draw and observe, so I'm gonna do that. It's a little off center. That's just the artistic, the little, um, so I'm doing it a little off center. If you got it centered, that's fine. It's not a big deal, but it's good to, to make those observations and see uh, how is it same, how is it different? There it is, there's that. And then we've got the eyebrows above that. There's a little bit of an eyebrow, another eyebrow. There we go, there we go. All right. And then the nose and the mouth. Yeah, this is a very simple, very simple shape. And what really helps is breaking that down to, to halves. That's that, that um, and how it fits in there. In here, the nose is about halfway as well on this side, on this center line, or a quarter of the way, if, you, if you're doing fractions there. So it's a simple half circle or half a uh, little arc upside down arc. Same thing with the mouth, a little simple arc with a little smiley, uh, a little, um, little cheek on one side. There we go. There we go, that gives it character. 
and it makes it asymmetrical. So we kind of throw us the asymmetry. The eye throws it an asymmetry, and that little mouth little gives it some asymmetry. All right, let's. Uh, there's a little bit of roundedness on the cheeks, around the cheeks, around the outside, around the outside. There we go, around the outside. How's it looking? Looking good up there on my screen. All right. Ah, now the hard part, the braids. All right, let me see. We'll, we'll leave the braids. We'll get the braids. I usually go from top down. I usually try to get, get a process going. Big shapes, small shapes, medium size. Actually, big shapes, medium size shapes, and then the small shapes. Um, all right, let's see the neck. The neck is about as wide. No, but the face. So that all fits in there. And there's a square. Is that a square? No, it's rectangular. It's almost square. It's a little bit longer. I'm sorry. I think there's another bomber named John Doe. John Doe. Oh my gosh, he's back. A good thing this thing's in, in uh, alphabetical order. Uh, now he's gone. I think he's just coming in and just leaving. Yeah, it's all good. I guess he's up on top. No, I don't see him anymore. Is he gone? Huh. Somebody named D. Uh, we might have to uh, go to some kind of password. Yeah, we might have to. Uh, if, no, if, a... you, if you take the option out of rename ah. <laughs> participant, you know what then, to, uh, but, uh, the, then the person can change constantly every time got they come it, in got it, got it. <laughs> i just did that okay and then i can un i can okay i can mute everybody and then not let people unmute themselves oh that would be good there we go that's better now now, now you can't unmute yourself so sorry about that okay so if you do have something to say uh, raise your hand and i'll get you uh, brie i'm gonna lower your hand so there we go all right, here we go. And I think I'm, I'm not if I'm highlighting myself. Uh, spotlight. There we go. Now we're on spotlight. Yeah, that's better. Okay, cool. You can always throw something in the chat. And uh, usually people like that are are not. I don't know. Don't write. Don't like to write. <laughs> All right. So here we go. Or I don't know. Doesn't matter. Okay. So so there's that. And then we've got the the hair. So let's do the hair now. The hair does actually come down a little bit. Um, it's not a not a whole bunch, not a much enough to really. Uh, we'll just add the little. It's it's uh it's almost like a circle shape with a triangle on it. So uh, to simplify, there's like a circle shape and a triangle and then a um, a knot. So something like that. So let's put it down. So that's what I kind of see. It's a little hard. There's a really dark. Um, how do you say it? Uh, the, the square shape. All right. So um, I'm going to add a little bit of a curve on that. So it's not so straight. So there's a little bit of a push on this side. I'm pushing it and curving it almost like a brush. So the hair looks like a, a, a brush, but broken down into shapes. It's a circle and a triangle. See, circle and a triangle. And then oh, I'm, I'm giving that a little bit of a curve. Here we go. And then uh, the hair that goes in there, a little bit of a texture from back and forth uh, in here to get that hair on one side. And there's usually like a knot or, or something tying it together. And then the hairs kind of go out this way. Let me look at the chat. Yeah, can I ask a question? Yes, you can. Throw in the uh, Mari, Mariana, okay, I don't know. Type it out. You're gonna have to type it out. I won't, I won't unmute anybody right now until afterwards. They, they'll usually get tired and leave. They don't have patience. We'll see if they do. That'd be interesting. All right, cool. So now the ear, the ear, actually, I, I can see where the ear is. And we use, uh, when we're drawing real characters, you know, we're looking at these relationships, the bottom of the eye, uh, that's where the ear kind of comes in. So if we follow the bottom of the eye, come just across this way, there's the ear right, right there on both sides. So come on the other side, 
Look at the relationships, look at how things relate, how things fit together. Every drawing is like a puzzle. We're trying to figure out how things, all the shapes fit together, the parts and the whole and the whole and the parts. There we go. All right, cool. I think Mariana, I don't know if she, uh, yeah, feel free to ask a question. I'll type it out or I'll say it, your answer. Is she, uh, oh, that was direct to me. All right, cool. Oh. Ah, okay. Oh, huh, that's interesting. Okay, hi. <laughs> this kind of solves the problem, though. Sorry, have to go to these extremes. But even if I charged a dollar, maybe that would probably uh, <laughs> deter those little little bombers. I don't know. I don't even have time right now to try to think of a uh, solution or other than changing the, the password. Then I lose some people too. I don't like doing that either. So that's all good. All right. So I think I did, I think I did the, the, this <laughs> to close. Or I'm going to close it off. It looks like it's inside the head. I'm going to do it outside. So it should probably be out here. And when making mistakes is okay. Say, oh, I didn't like it there. Let's, let's make a change. Not really mistakes. They're happy accidents, and uh, we learn from them. Just like pressing too hard on with a HB pencil. All right. So uh, this one we're gonna go this way. Actually, I'm gonna make it a little bit different from the picture. So it has this shape, the circle shape, and like the brush shape again. And then it, there's a little bit of a shadow with just the the, the hair shape, um, that texture they're putting in there. It's kind of like that. There we go. And then we'll put some more of the hair texture this way. Oh, look at nice. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> I don't know. Wow. I don't know. It's, it's John Doe. Ah, there he is. Let's see. Let's see John Doe. <laughs> well, at least he can spell. Oh, that's funny. I don't see him on the side though. Mm -hmm. That's weird. Mm -hmm. Security. <laughs> right, there we go. I'm going to purchase. Oh, I think I hopefully. Oh, there we go. Uh, I don't see him, though. I don't see him in my uh, part as a participant. I see him writing. I don't see him as a participant, so I can't really remove him. John Doe. John Doe, Doe. Doe, a deer, a female deer. Yelena, did you have a question or did you just have your hand up? <laughs> he left already. Oh, thank you. Wow, my gosh. <laughs> he got frustrated. You see, or actually, you want to be playing the long game too. I mean, these little things shouldn't. It's like a blip on a on the on the screen. You know, these things happen, and and bad drawings happen. And the thing is, you know, some people get discouraged really easy, and that's that's what keeps people, uh, you know, who don't want it bad enough out. You know, and uh, it's all good. I don't know. We'll see. I have to figure out what. So I don't know, I'll take suggestions actually, um, changing the password, we can, um, I think I had uh, people authenticating one time and it, 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 we dropped a lot of people because they didn't, I don't know, I don't, I don't know if you're authenticating now, I don't even know what, how, what settings I have it on. But uh, uh, yes, SEMA, SEMA, I know a SEMA, uh, yes. Question. Let me, um, I don't know, I can let people speak if you'd like. Uh, uh, I'll let you unmute yourself. <clears throat> All right, so there we go. There's our little girl. I think she just needs a little bit, though. oh, the neck. So ooh, this is how artists create space. Oh, check this out. So this is a good one. Uh, we're already, this is actually next level. So this level is kind of like level one, doing this face here. This next level down here, we're actually going into a little bit of form. So the, the, the neck is actually a cylinder. A cylinder. So when it comes to cylinders, uh, we uh, practice drawing this oval shape. 
this oval shape is really important. You'll see it in a lot of places. Here's a quarter from the last time. Uh, it's just a tilted quarter. You'll see it's a tilted circle. So even from a cap that I have here, cap, you tilt it and it, it changes to that shape and it's always predictable. It's always predictable. So once you master that circle turning, then you'll be able to um, draw it other places. So that's take some practice. So here we go. Let's draw this neck and we're done with this drawing. So here we go, the bottom of the neck like that. And then it's inside that oval. And it's not a perfect oval either. It's just a cartoon actually. It's a little uh, wider than I would draw it. But there it goes like that. It's inside. And then there's a, oh, wait a minute. Actually it comes down. I just put a necklace on her. That's okay, happy accident. Throw my concentration. <laughs> John Doe. <laughs> oh, funny. Oh, well, I hope you guys hang in there. That's the thing. Being tenacious, the grit. It's that's what it's about, really. Not giving up. Quitters don't win and winners don't quit. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, I don't. I would have quit a long time ago. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Um, and then it's just a parallel. This is actually a good challenge or a good, a good uh, thing to try to do is uh, go parallel to that first oval that we drew, go around it. And that's like the coffee mug we did last week. The coffee mug we did, um, drawing that, that uh, thickness. Going around and then, and then I guess it has, <laughs> it looks like a dog collar. How funny. Now that I'm looking at it, it is a little straighter, but I would probably draw it a little more curved like this. Yeah, it's a little straighter. Wow, it's small. All right, we're done. We're done with this. I wanted to do some shading. I could do some shading. Push this back. Oh, the ad is actually shaded in the drawing itself. That pushes it back. I would probably put a little bit of shading here and there on the sides. There we go. You can unmute. Oh, he's back. Uh, let's see who is. It? Wow. Damn, that's pretty offensive. John Doe. I don't see him in my participants. Oh, gosh. Oh, there he is. I see him. Oh, he just disappeared. Ha, maybe I shouldn't say anything. Oh, that's really weird. I saw him for a second. Oh, he might be changing his name. Oh, did I? I thought I changed that. I rename the cells. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. Well, no, you shouldn't be able to rename yourself. Oh, I'm going to turn off the chat too. Ha, I can turn that off as well. All right, well, he'll get bored and leave. I usually get bored. All right, I'll do that. So, sorry, you guys can't chat. So if you had questions, uh, can't let John Doe, uh, yeah, wow. Do Alt and Q at the same time so people don't join. Oh, Alt Q, ha uh -huh. Oh, look at that. Huh. Oh, there's people, oh, there's so, so not let any new people join in. All right, let me see. Uh, da, 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 da. Enable waiting room. There we go. Oh, that's good. Oh, we can do that too. Huh. All right, cool. All right, that's it. So we enable the waiting room. <clears throat> so if somebody comes in, they'll, they'll be pushed into the waiting room. All right, we have our little girl done through the challenges. Take on those challenges. It's like, oh, mm. some people get, I know with my students, I, I try to I nudge them now. I used to push them. But it's like pushing jello. Your hands go like right through. So now I, I nudge them. I go, oh, try this, try that. And it's uh, you know, it's it's actually works better. <laughs> it works a lot better. It's hard to, yeah, sometimes there it is. I'm fixing the hair a little bit. There we go, making putting more hair, making it look a little more natural. There you go. So to my liking now. All right, there she is. All right, very good. All right, cool. I think you can still raise your hand and I'd be able to see you. Let me see if I can uh, go to my gallery view. There we go. All right. Let's go to the next character or if you want to add stuff. There we go. Yeah, that's better. All right. It's that tenacious, tenacious, tenacity, not giving up, keeping at it, especially if you're having fun. I mean, I, he's having fun too, I'm sure. <laughs> Doesn't have anything better to do. Oh my gosh. I don't know. I don't know. I find it amusing. Not amusing. 
I find it, uh, I don't know, I, I, I'm sad a little bit, but not, I don't know. It's society, I guess, there's so much going on. All right. <clears throat> All right, let's go with C7. We're going to go with C7. That one's a little bit tougher. Uh, we'll go with C7. C7. Shuck my stunk, stunk my battleship. And it's right at the end. Here, let me see. Yeah, I feel I feel disconnected. <laughs> I feel like my students on their cell phones. I, I, I have a no cell phone, no, so, no phone zone in my classroom now in a couple of classes because they've abused the phones. It's, it can be addicting, and they don't understand that, that there's a time and place. And uh, all right, well, yeah, sometimes you have to take. All right, so this is almost a circle. So if you draw a circle, you're good. I mean, we're going to draw a circle and then just stretch it out just a little bit. So, it, I mean, I'm looking at this, uh, this drawing here, and you can see it's, it's uh, almost a circle. <laughs> further out. <laughs> funny I, I that's what i get for letting uh, let's see uh, oh wow how did he do that i didn't let you unmute, unmute him so oh it is checked off sorry <laughs> he won't do that anyway <laughs> oh man all right here we go <laughs> he had covid or something geez it's not a funny thing but... all right here we go so are we drawing a circle don't get distracted and just a little bit of an oval just pushing it out just slightly and i'm sketching it in i'm sketching it in so you saw all these circles here and then you got to find the one you like the most and then just go in there and almost it's almost like tracing now i'm almost tracing all the my sketching and uh this is what the sketching is about you sketch lightly and then on top then you can do your drawing and you don't usually see the sketch work the, the work that goes underneath the framework like the framework of a house so there's our, our, our framework. We have our oval. The neck is pretty, it's pretty wide here. Oh, I got a hand, a zoom user. Let me see, I have a question or something's going on. Oh, it's too big. Ah, let's zoom out a little bit. Is that what it is? Zoom user, let me see. Wonder if I can, um, hmm. Zoom user, do you have a question? Let me see if I can unchat you, oh, let's unmute you. There you go, actually, can I? Wait a minute. Uh, Thanks. Oh, I go. was wondering which uh, drawing we're doing now. I got a little lost. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm letting Lily Chen, Chen in. She's from last time. Oh, this is cool. You know what? That that actually works. The drawing we're doing is this this uh, this one here. So welcome, Lily. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that actually. You know what? We might do that. Um, uh, so I did I did set up the waiting room. Uh, and uh, I think that will help with who I let in and stuff. So actually, I did, used to do that as a teacher. I used to have a, a waiting room. All right, cool. That works. So we're doing this this one here. Um, it's not quite a circle. It's a little bit of an oval. I stretched it out. I might have stretched it out a little bit more. So I actually, I can still adjust. I can actually put more hair on top of it to make it a little higher up. But it's really close to a circle. If you get it to a circle, um, just a little stretched out. I'm changing the ratio slightly. All right, so there it is. All right, let's uh, draw our axis lines right in the middle. Axis line, axis line. And let's see how it all fits. The eyes are above the axis line. I can see it. So the eyes are, are pretty high up, are higher up. And I, I would say they're almost centered. I'm actually really close to being centered on that side. Uh, probably slightly to the, to the out, slightly to the outside. But um, we're looking for all these relationships and they're higher up. So I would say right about there. And uh, it is a, um, she does have an eyelid. So similar to this other one here, uh, right about there. Go here and then another, oh, we'll draw that same football shape since it is Super Bowl weekend here. Students are asking me, are you into, I'm like, well, I love the Rams because it's, but I don't you know, follow sports usually. Um, here we go. So this one does have a highlight actually. So uh, we're gonna draw this circle and just leave that white part in the center. So try to keep that white part in the center. Um, mm -mm -mm. Here we go with that eye. 
and do the same thing on the other side. And see, once you do that, then your eyes are actually uh, seeing the, these uh, measurements. Your eyes will be a little more right. That's, this is a problem I had. I remember having one eye in one place, the other eye in the other place. And this helps get the eyes where they go. There we go, where they need to go. And it does, this little circle does overlap or underlap the uh, eyelid. It does go under. So there's our eyes. And then a little bit of an eyelid. We'll put a little bit of an eyelid over that. So I don't know if I'm going too fast. But, uh, I think let's take a look. All right, uh, 38 people. John Doe is gone. And I don't know if it's Seema is here. Uh, will it be QR? Yeah, Seema's gone too. All right, cool. I think I can unmute. I don't know if I'm willing, daring, daring. Lily, welcome. I'm glad you made it. So you, that worked. I'm glad um, you could make it out and then come in. I'm going to unmute. I'm going to let you unmute yourself. So unless we have a problem, I will mute it again. There we go. It's mutiny. <laughs> All right. Just make the best. Always make the best. Here we go. So there's that other eye. Uh, we'll do that other eyelid. It's just a simple. Uh, actually, this one doesn't have an eyelid. The second eye. I'm adding. <laughs> it's all good. There we go. I just looked and it doesn't have an eyelid. If you look closely enough, it does have like eye, eyelashes. The eyelashes are a little bit darker. So. Um, all right. Oh, the zoom user. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, oh, Zoom user, uh, huh. a bomber. Skinny or easy. All right. So um, <clears throat> let's see the placement of the nose. Placement of the nose was right about a little bit above the center, uh, above the quarter. And then the lips are down here. I'm just getting the placement. So I'm getting to see where, where, where it's at. <clears throat> yeah, if you don't put your name, I, th I think maybe that should be, we need to set rules. If you don't have your name in the chat and the, uh, you know, when you sign in, I think uh, that would be good protocols. So that would solve maybe some of the stuff. So I'm gonna have, um, I will have the uh, waiting room. We'll add the waiting room. And then if you don't have your, uh, an actual name, we're, we won't let you in. Also, actually, I can put them in the waiting room. Uh, should we put them in the waiting room? Oh, no, that's fine. They're being, they're behaving right now. But I got the trigger. <laughs> All right, here we go. <clears throat> oh, I hate doing that. All right, so let's continue. <clears throat> so I've got the where the nose is going to be and the mouth is going to be. This, this is just shows me where, where they're going to go, where they go. <clears throat> And this is the base, and this is like the center. Uh, and I'm looking back and forth to make sure I, I, I like it. I think the lips might be a little bit lower. I would probably use, <laughs> I'm very picky, uh, a little lower. That's all right. Okay, so that's good. There, there. So the nose is um, parallel. It's just straight down like this, uh, away from the norm, and it curves. Curves like that, like a letter U. And then there's one nostril, one little nostril. And then the other side has another nostril that's not attached. This one's attached, and then this one's not attached. It's just almost like a, a hanging C there for some reason. There we go. There's the nostrils. It goes to the center of the eyes. And once it passes the middle of the eyes, then it curves out into the eyebrows. It curves out into the eyebrows, up and over into that space up and over into that space. There's an artist that would do this. I can't remember. I know, I think Miro has a drawing that's similar to this, where the eyes, the eyebrows and the nose kind of attach together. Miro. Uh, there's a bit of a thickness to the eyebrow. Let me add that thickness, the thickness of the line. Probably would be better with a different tool, but it's all good when you're learning. There's probably some more space here. There should be a little more space. I'll bring that 
up. There we go. She's got a serious face. This uh, this little girl, she looks happy. This one, she looks a little more serious. The braids. All right, let's see. we'll do the braids last. I think uh, there we are. are we at mm -mm -mm. Zoom users still here. So all right, cool. Oh, Liana Griffin and Jessica Rodriguez. I'll let them in. They were in the waiting room. I should put the uh, sound for the waiting room. Uh, play sound. All right, there we go. All right, there's Jessica. All right, cool. All right, Jessica, welcome. Liana, welcome. We're drawing uh, cartoons here. Nice of you to join us. Thank you, sorry for being late. I came as fast as I could. <laughs> I know, I saw your name, I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> Uh, we we had a, a un, uninvited guest, unwelcome guest, but that's all good. So uh, we're drawing these uh, cartoons. Actually, I'll put it in the chat again. Uh, we have um, let me put it in the chat. So if you want to see what our our source material, I'm excited. I made it. <laughs> <laughs> we're happy you're here. There we go. There it is. All right. So there's the link. Um, I also would like to apologize for being late. Life got in the way. Okay. Do you have a note? I'm gonna have to send you to the office. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh. <I still> <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. You don't have to apologize. It's saying, and actually, I don't mind you getting here at any time. Um, I actually would like to see if people can get in here after after eight o'clock. Uh, actually, nine o'clock. If you can join in after nine. So I don't know. We'll see. This is actually a good test. To, to try to join in after, you know, if you're gonna leave, leave and then come back, see if you can join in. And I wanna really test, see if you can come in at any time. Cause I would like to actually, um, you know, uh, get a little more uh, personalized uh, attention to people who are there longer and say, hey, how do you draw this? How do you draw more specifics, right? So we can address some of the challenges you're having and help you out. All right, it's all good. Here we go. It's good to have challenges and try to figure it out. And then sometimes a little bit of guidance. And that's just my opinion. You can have other people's opinions, not just mine. All right. So we're going to add the ears. The ears are pretty uh, right, right at the uh, edges right here. So at, uh, every time I see a circle, I think of it as a clock. Here we go at three o'clock and nine o'clock. We have our ears and um, that's good. We, we just attach two little ovals, one there and one over here at those areas to little half circles all right and then we got and uh, yeah feel free to draw other ones if i'm going too slow for you if i'm going too fast ask me to slow down i will and i think we don't i think we're uh, our, our zoom bombers are gone we just dropped somebody else just dropped see that's what's going to happen now i can hear you uh, coming and going or going somebody just dropped there we go all right the lips Let's do the lips. I'm avoiding the hair. No, just let's do the lips. All right, so I have the center. Uh, I can adjust my center if I need to go higher or lower. Uh, this is a good time to adjust, not, not after you've drawn the lips. So you kind of want to see and almost use your imagination. Use your imagination to see if it's, uh, if it's the right spot. Use your imagination. And you can also see how far the lips go out. The eyes are a good spot. So if I look down the inside of the eye, that's how wide that mouth is. If I bring that center line down, I'll go ahead and draw it. I really light, lightly sketch it. I can bring that down. I can see that the lips actually are inside that uh, space right there. Usually they go to the center, but here this time they're, the eyes are really far apart. All right, here we go. Um, I'm putting a little bit more of a smile on her, but she has, let me see those lips. I do have like a little bit of a, a bird shape. They're, they're like, like an M, two little arches. There we go. That, then the top, the top, there we go, two, two more arched. <laughs> a little bird, there we go. And then the bottom. The bottom lip is usually rounded and a little bit smaller. So that's what I'm gonna do. Rounded, smaller. Mm. There we go. Yeah, so if it's too slow, getting too boring, 
um draw the other ones practice drawing other stuff just join us to draw that's fine you don't have to draw what we're drawing and then or if i'm going too fast let me know all right she's got two cheeks two circle cheeks right in there we can kind of see it uh, try and draw uh, sketching it in like that and then go in a little bit darker there's one and then two makeup all right there it is two little circle cheeks let's get the neck it, it uh, zooms out i'd like to for our caricature uh draw somebody uh, famous so we can try to <laughs> have people guess who it is who is that oh it's supposed to be the president oh it doesn't and it's hard i mean it's really capturing somebody's likeness and then exaggerating what makes that person that person. I, I tried to draw a caricature. Someone said it was ugly. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I kind of liked it. But you couldn't tell me. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. So, and, and you see, when it, they don't give constructive criticism either, that's just like, okay, what do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> that's all good. Oh, yeah. Thankfully, it was before I finished. So I think it oh. was. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. All right, so we're just done. I think we just need, need the hair. So she does have a part at the top. So there's a little bit of a, a little bit of a gap at the top, and I think I'm gonna go bring the hair out because I think uh, that spot right there. So we're gonna um, put the hair right on top of that. Just go, um, just go in a little bit wider, and um, it has a bit of texture. So kind of um, with this pen, I'm just going in that direction. I should put my phone on silent. And then just shading it in. It has a little bit of texture. I'm not worrying about it. And the other side too, down to the ear. Oh, we just lost somebody. I see. I <laughs> should turn the sound up. It's all good. Go shade it in. All right, now time for the braids. Now the braids, I can see shapes. I can see uh, these circle shapes. Um, so I can see, I can actually get that. I know it's gonna go from here to right about there. And on this side as well here, uh, it's probably a little bit overlapping on that side down to right about there. There is like a knot at the end. So I actually, there's a knot. I can start off with that knot. There's another knot. And then uh, same thing with that circle and a triangle shape, like brush shape at the, at the end. Okay, so I, have, I see one, two, three, four circles, four circles. So that's actually pretty easy. So four is an even number. I can actually find the center. There's that center. And then I can find the center again. And, and that easily breaks the space up into four. So um, I'll be drawing those four ovals in there. Uh, there's a little bit of weaving. Hmm. Oh, that makes it more challenging. Wait a minute. One, two, see, one, two, three, four. Huh. How would I do the weaving? Okay, I see how the weaving is. All right, cool. So um, yeah, check this out. We'll do it as a sketch. There's one oval. This is a little bit overlapping. It goes under the cheek. There's another oval, two, three, and then four. Now there, um, the hair does kind of braid. So those are the four shapes, circle shapes I kind of saw. Notice how I broke it down, broke it into half and then in fourths into quarters, right? Fractions, I don't like fractions. That would have scared them off. All right, so here we go. Uh, and everything's math, 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 shapes, geometry. All right. Mm -mm -mm. So now uh, you have the circles. I'm going to go ahead and add the braids now. So it's just how they overlap and how it how it goes from from one to the other. So um, here, this circle. Let's go from the bottom up. Um, it kind of like attaches like there, like that. See there we go. See see that. So I just kind of like attached it um, there, and then same thing on the next one. Just uh, almost like a chain. 
there attaching it and if you get it you get it don't if you don't you can actually just shade it all in nobody will know the, the difference but it's good to look and see how how is it how is it constructed what's how is it constructed how's it put together how would you you know construct it let me see there we go put this one like that and then if you want to put a slight shade into everything that would just or just uh, give it a little bit of hair texture lines going in that direction direction there we go one side almost done just shading it there we go. all right i think i lost some of it it's all good there it is there's one side let's go with the other side is it four as well one two three yeah four four and i don't know what's happening it's had like a little bit of a of a wrinkle there so let's go four again let's find the center so we find the center right there that's the middle break it into fourths again and half again and then half again that helps make all our circles uh relatively the same size one circle two circles three circles four there we go thank you for joining us and for leaving us 740. all right there we go and this will be our last drawing and then wow we went 740. this one took longer i don't know time there's a time warp there that was around 7 30. might be going all right <laughs> all right so let's see hello Adio. yes josh what are you gonna do for valentine's day ah good question what am i gonna do for valentine's well i'm gonna just uh just spend it with someone i care about <laughs> and, uh, just uh try to take it easy M valentine's is on monday yeah so we'll probably celebrate more on this weekend but um uh, yeah nothing special we, we know, nothing extra special because we always do we uh, we actually agreed upon hey we're always doing stuff you know let's i don't know we just do things so it's all have good. a backup in case the person agree but they'll give you something then they'll get mad <laughs> no, <laughs> maybe a chaplain in your back pocket <laughs> <laughs> yeah sounds good sounds like a plan Chocolate in the back pocket. Uh, I have this melted chocolate for you. Like, hold up, you got me a diamond, so I got some. <laughs> I don't see her doing that, but yeah. It would be, I know. I don't know. <laughs> That's funny. All right. So, yeah, that top is an ear. So don't shade that one in. And uh, do the same thing. Let's see. Let's see if we can get this to connect. Uh, little curvy things. Let me see, where's the pattern? I'm looking for a pattern. So there's a little bit of overlap and, and an adjustment. We'll have it go the other way. So it kind of curves in a little bit of a line. There. Or just shade it all in, I think. Uh. <clears throat> all right, let's see anybody in the, all right. I see Yelena with her hand up. I think she's ready to share. She's ready to share. Let me see. Let me just finish. <laughs> Let me finish first. I don't know the pattern. I lost the pattern, and uh, we get the braid on here. The braid kind of goes the other way, turn a circle and shape out that way. There we go. I'm looking back and forth at my drawing. I think I think I did my uh, something a little. Oh yeah, she has more of a forehead. I'm looking at it now. Yeah, my eyebrows my eyebrows went a little high. I got thrown off, or I don't know. Playing the blame game. I can only blame myself. I should be, I should, I got to learn how to draw under pressure. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, I can see that the spacing, and that's a spacing problem. That there's more forehead, right? So uh, I, I should have dropped, uh, I don't know, maybe I did it too wide. But a bomb, uh, it's the angle. Sometimes I got to, I can sit over my drawing. It's all good. I can see the problem, but it's not a problem. Yeah, I, 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 got rid of the forehead there should be more space in the forehead i see it now and it's gonna bug me but it's all good you gotta learn to accept it we talked we've talked about acceptance and moving on learn to accept it and then just okay that's fine it is what it is next time i'll be more careful gotta 
do that check spacing check there we go yeah because i didn't i didn't do it i think yeah the eyebrows should be lower yeah it should have been lower i can probably drop them but then i would need the white out because i went really dark that's ah, all good she looks good only only you everybody listening and myself knows and the whole world if i put it on youtube it's all good all right well okay we'll share and we'll share we'll go ahead and share and then we'll um uh, turn myself right side up since i'm in the upside down and not so zoomed zoomed in all right uh, all right 36 people okay great you know sometimes that happens too um i hear people dropping but it's their their wi-fi all right, so anybody, ah, Jessica, would you like to share? All right, cool. Let's, uh, let's see what you got. <laughs> Did you make the other ones? Did I make it? <laughs> we drew. Yeah, no, that's all we drew. <laughs> that's all we drew. I was, I was kind of rushing it because I wanted to catch up with you guys. Yeah, no, yeah, that's it. That's it. That's what we got. We got. Ponytails are connected. Oh, look, that's the back of the. Should I show you guys? Can you guess yeah. who I drew? Oh, guess who? Who? Guess who that is? Wow. That's the one I said was ugly, but I was like, I thought he was pretty. But I didn't ask again after I finished. I was scared of getting an ad. Oh, um, Markle? Oh, it doesn't really look like the first. I, you know what? I, I tell you what. If, if my if I had a guess, it would I, I would say Angelina Jolie. It's Jennifer Lopez. I saw it's she had Jennifer a big Lopez. forehead on the drawing, so I gave her a really big forehead. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. It was on the magazine, but right. right. Yeah, I can, I can see, I can see Jennifer in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I did markers. Yeah. <laughs> markers. But I like it came out pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can see why. Um. Yeah. All right. So it's it's just you're exaggerate the way you exact exaggerate. We have Bill Neiser, Bill Kinizer, Kinzer. I don't know who that is. My turtle I painted a long time ago. Uh huh. Oh, okay, that was it. That was the one I did right now. All right, well, admit Bill Kinzer. All right. Thank you. All right, all right. You're welcome. Oh, thank you for sharing. That's good. I, and I like that you shared your uh, your Jennifer Lopez. I can see it. I can see it. All right, Bill Kinzer, how you doing? Just coming in? Doing well. Just uh, um, running a little behind schedule oh, this evening. That's fine. I, I just wanted to check to see if you were a real person or not. <laughs> Before yeah, I am. I I am a real person. I'm not a. Uh... <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you. Uh, we'll go with. Uh, thank you for sharing, Jessica. We'll go with Ein. Ein. Am I saying that right? Yeah. Okay. Ine. Right. It's Ine. Ine. I, I, yeah. yeah. You know, and you said that last time. All right. Oh, there you go. Wow. You got the you got the, the spacing on the forehead. Oh, uh, sorry. Yeah. It's all right. Yeah, yours looks better than mine. That's for sure. You got it. Oh yeah. Yeah. Great. Sweet. <laughs> love, love your, your pencil. You did use the pencil, huh? Yeah. No, it's good. It's good. It's good. No, it, okay. it, it, all right. it, don't, it was good. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for sharing. All right. Uh, we'll go with Judy. Judy, haven't seen you in a bit. How you doing? That's Hello. good. Hello. I'm Hello. doing fine. I did Great. a couple others. Oh, there you go. Yeah. There you go. Find your, find your, uh, there you go. Find your level. Sweet. Oh my gosh, the, the one with the bow cut. She's really serious. That means where's she at? Yeah, this one. Yeah, <laughs> I made I made it too high, you know. So. Oh, you did? Oh no, yeah. she's serious in the picture too. Well, oh I yeah, had, I can see. I it. had yeah, this up too high, and I said, "Oh, I gotta bring it down." So then it got this, then this went up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I see your proportions and your placement. That's, but it's all not good. Quite. See, but it's recognizing it, and then I was like, "Okay, boom!" It's like shooting a, a basket. You're gonna not gonna hit it, but you're like aiming, it, and you're like, "Okay, I hit the backboard at least," you know, and then just keep, kind of keep practicing. Oh, that's good. No, that's, this is really good. Those are great Thank characters. You. Thank you for sharing. All right, uh, Priyanka, we'll go with Priyanka. And uh, here we go. What you got? Hello. Yeah. Yeah, All thanks. right. <laughs> sweet. Very sweet. All right. Yeah, I found like it difficult to like do the hair for this character. Mm -hmm. But yeah. But it looks fine. I think it looks fine. I raised his hair a couple of times. <laughs> oh, it's all good. I, it turned out. I don't know. I think it turned out fine. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you for sharing, Priyanka. That's good. 
Let's go with uh, Yelena. Yelena, let's see what you got. Two characters. Two characters. I don't use myself. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I'm sorry again for these bummers. I don't know oh, what yeah, what the people has the. I think probably nothing in it. <laughs> okay, and I try to do emotion kind of, but it's so hard that just. No, but no, you know the different expressions. No, that's sweet. Yeah, I tried to Did do you see that. that book? Oh, I don't know if I have my book. Um, oh, he, he, it's on a PDF that PDF drive. Um, it, he, he's a uh, Scott McCloud. Oh, he does okay. yeah. expressions. I yeah. yeah, and I like I like this character A five. Uh huh. Like, very good. Some um, and something else. Uh, yeah, those ones. There you go. <laughs> Sweet. Well, that's, that's fun. Thank yeah, you. Fun. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. All right, we'll go with Sunny. Sunny, what you got? Let's see. All right, Sunny. Hello. Oh, hi. Um, I got these. I did one extra little baby guy. Oh, yeah. I love those curls. Yeah, I like the doing the hair textures. I'm not very good. I always, I don't know. I feel like there's too many lines. Why are we so hard on ourselves? I mean, those I don't good. know. <laughs> they look good. Yeah, thank you. It's yeah. fun. All right, cool. <laughs> Sweet. All right, uh, Jessica, did, didn't you? Oh, there's a heart. Uh, you showed already, no? Fuck her. It looks so like cool. Like I, I could see it in a comic book. Her lines are so like confident and strong. I yeah, like they are bold. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Thank, you. Thank you for the compliments. Uh, okay, and we'll go with Mary. Mary Ann, good to see you. Oh, let's see, almost. Uh, there we go. Oh, there. I found a few Marriott Bonvoy locations near you. All right. <laughs> Sweet. Wow. Yeah. The first oh, time I tried doing oh. break. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, oh, you didn't like the break? <laughs> hey, Google, stop. <laughs> All right. Very nice. You, you said something about the braids you didn't like them or, or what happened i couldn't figure out the pattern i kept oh, the connecting pattern. the links and then uh, it was yeah it was a little unclear brain. i should have zoomed in on it yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay that's fine that was a cool exercise i like learning how to do that yeah yeah yeah. seeing the shape seeing the, and breaking it down uh mm -hmm. all right thank you for sharing thank I'm glad you. You like it. all right uh let's go with uh, joshua let's see joshua what you got Joshua, your drawings. Me, yeah. I drew four of them. Oh, four! Wow, mm -hmm. you doubled and mine. The last one I put is Marianne Buckley. Oh, Marianne Buckley, who's that? Yeah. Marianne Buckley. I don't know who that is. Is that me? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, question. <laughs> you drive people in the in the, in the room. <laughs> oh yeah, huh? that's right. That is one of our persons. I'm like, I was thinking. Of, I was thinking outside. All right. Uh, thank you for sharing, Josh. Thank you for sharing. I like right, to draw good friends. With, huh? Sorry. I like to draw good friends. Oh yeah. All right. Uh, I think I'll try drawing you next time. We'll see. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Uh, we're going to go with Kirsten. Kirsten Smith. There you go, Kirsten. Kirsten, what you got? You need to, um, there we go. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at those. <laughs> this is the little, love it. Love when you get creative. See, this is where your creativity comes in. You take what you've drawn and then just take it to, take it to a different, yeah, add your own little twist to it. Yeah, because I don't think, is there one like that? No, I don't see one. That's good. Yeah, that's sweet. Yeah, I can see it. And there's that one. All right, cool. Oh, you added a little cross and stuff to it. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very nice, very nice. Super cool. Thank you for sharing. I uh, will go with Kimber. And then, all right, hello. Um, so I just did 
these two. I'm so impressed oh. that people did like three and four. Yeah. Um, I did it. I just went for it in ink. And then I, on the braids, they're, I did two different kind of techniques uh -huh. to see what would happen. So they're a little- yeah, go, go a little closer. Go a little closer. I should have done mine closer so you can see the, the, the braids. You see, yeah, I can see. All right, cool, yeah. I kind of just, I wasn't even looking at the picture any longer. Yeah. I just kind I of- hear, yeah playing it's with a little vague, but yeah it's, it's finding patterns and kind of like it was almost like a c-shape uh, inside a c-shape mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. it was a little that more one's a little more brady and that one's a little more twisted so but anyways we're just playing around yes we're just playing around so that's, that's, yeah. thank you for sharing yeah. all you. right thank you all right uh, Cor coralia did i say that right i'm butchering names tonight no that was all right, all right. um i did I had to play catch up. Oh, that's fine. So that's I have this one. Wow. Um, oh, where is it? Catch your face. <laughs> All right. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing. And and joining us tonight, uh, we're gonna go with Bree. I think uh, Bree, you might be the last one to share Hi. tonight. There you go. Hello. Okay, here's my, oh, here's my oh. <laughs> square girl. Uh -huh. <laughs> and, little uh, Yeah, there, there you go. You can put on last one. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, thank you. <laughs> All right, thank you for sharing. Sweet. All right, let's see. Here we go. All right, so uh, thank you for joining us tonight. So I guess uh, we can go a little more complex. Um, I did want to share before anybody leaves, uh, I did want to share one resource. Um, it's uh, uh, Schoolism. Schoolism actually is, uh, has uh, really good videos. I was just looking at, I heard about it before and you do have to register, um, but they do have like a, like a whole set of series. So I'm just going to share that a little bit right now. Uh, let's see, Schoolism, where is that? Uh, is it here? Oh, wait a minute. I'm not even, am I sharing my screen yet? Sometimes it doesn't show. I have all these tabs. Oh, there it is. Schoolism. All right, cool. So school, schoolism terms and conditions. Here it is. So actually speed skate, uh, sketching animals. And this was actually a really good intro. Just to him. This is a Bobby Chu. Uh, uh, critique sessions. You can see that. All these videos. All this stuff. And it's free. And it's free. So um, Bobby Chu, he has his own a YouTube channel and stuff. But uh, you can see any level or beginner, advanced, all. So we try to start off with beginner and try to give you resources like this, storyboarding, uh, introduction to Blender, uh, Leanna Griffin coming in. All right, cool. That's, uh, let's see. All right, let's see, where's Leanna? Hello, Leanna. Leanna Griffin, just say hi. Welcome. I just let her in. There she is. Okay. So let people in. Okay. So yeah, you can see painting and procreate. All these lessons are really great stuff. Um, and and it's actually uh, if you go through these are critique sessions. There's also um, up here uh, workshops. I think the workshops uh, online. Well, stay tuned for more workshops. Where are they? Uh, courses. That's what we're looking for. I, I was looking at this uh, speed sketching animals. Yeah, that's what it was. And he, this him, his intro is just like two minutes long, but there's six sessions and the six sessions are 12 hours and it's free. To me, the hardest thing to understand as an artist has always been the sketching phase. And sketching. that's because the initial sketch is usually completely covered by the time the painting is done. You see, it's, the sketch is covered. So that's the framework and you can see how it sketched it in. Uh, so really good stuff. Uh, drawing birds and animals, uh, getting that framework in that sketching. All right, you're seeing those shapes, basic shapes. All right, so um, let's see, who should we draw tonight uh, as far as uh, this uh, second hour? I'll take, uh, I, I was thinking of presidents uh, or somebody famous. Snoop Dogg for the Super Bowl. Who? Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg, all right, let's do Snoop Dogg. I, I think we did see, uh, thank you for joining us. I can hear people knocking out. A little bit, that's fine. We'll see you next week. Um, thank you for joining us. Uh, as we do our second hour, uh, Snoop Dogg. Let's take a look at Snoop Dogg. There was actually a really good character caricature of Snoop Dogg uh, that I kind of like. Let's see, caricature. Car oh, I stopped with the H again. 
caricature. Snoop Dogg caricature. Uh, yeah, he's got a whole bunch. Oh my God. He is a character. Oh, that one was really funny. This one looks actually, I like that one. <laughs> That's a really loose. Look at that. Really quick. The the eyes and that 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 grin that he has. His nose. It's funny too. Just the different styles. That, that one. It's not crazy about that one. And neither that one. This one's good. That laugh. That's funny. Uh -huh. It really stretched out that nose. So that was my favorite. Um, that really has interesting shapes. Yeah, I see just the way they, they just distort and make. Yeah, like these are too distorted. I don't know. It looks like it's a 3D model. Yeah, everybody's taking mm -hmm. a stab at it. Yeah, look at that one. That's interesting. Like this one doesn't look like it, I think. It doesn't look like it. Well, it's caricature Snoop Dogg. That's actually pretty good. That looks like a younger Snoop. Yeah. Oh, that's, yeah, that's taking it too far. <laughs> Sorry. The, the one with the sunglasses looks like him, too, I thought. It was... Oh, the one with the sunglasses? Uh... I like Pixel. This one? Which one? <laughs> oh, yeah, that one. The one you were at. With the pink. <clears throat> that one, yeah. Oh, the other one, the, um... Which one, that one? Which one should we do though? I did, yeah, they're all super cool though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're all a trip. I'm trying to find one that, that we can break down. And I'm also just kind of looking and enjoying what I see as far as how they took, you know, that one character and just kind of like, you know, just exaggerated. You can see this, this, this shape here, they exaggerated almost like an ET shape. They made mm -hmm. this shape smaller. Sometimes it works, sometimes it does. <laughs> I don't know who this is. They put them, they made them a lot more different. This is just a, a yeah, like a filter. Well, that's on cool. It. Yeah, that's like a poster filter. This is just fine. Yeah, look at that. It's interesting. Yeah, it's a finding the shapes and, and playing with the shapes until you get something. Maybe we should do our own. Because he's a character. After looking at these, let's see if we make our own. I like that top one. This one, I, I really like that one for some. You reason. know that he's part of the Nickelodeon nominee. Oh, he is! Oh my gosh! What would the parents say? Interesting character, though. Oh gosh! <laughs> I don't know. There's something about this one that's calling to me, but uh, I don't know. I like this one too. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. This one really. Um, it's like a gangster. Yeah, gangster. Yeah, it looks mean. Yeah, you know, like that's, yeah, you know, like this one's more of a cartoon. This is something like you would uh, see it. Uh, and that one's a lot more realistic. I like Leslie Jones too. Leslie Jones. Oh yeah. Yeah, because she's my favorite uh, person. Who talks about the Olympics, and you know they they try to uh, muscle her because they only wanted Snoop oh. Doggy Dog to do it. Oh. But she's my favorite. She's the original one, the one that was said hilarious <laughs> things about oh, the Olympics. <laughs> I, I don't know if anyone here remembers when she did the commentary on the horses. In the Olympics, in the Summer Olympics, the, she was hilarious. Yeah. She's got an interesting. I don't know if he uh, caricatures over here. There's some right here. That was interesting. Oh, is this from like, oh, yeah, Frank oh, Irving. Leslie Nielsen. Leslie Nielsen. Yeah, from like the airplane uh, series. Yeah. All right, let's see. Uh, I like that one. All right, all right, we'll go with, with, with our first suggestion. If we have time, we'll go the other one. I think, uh, ooh, wow. Oh, nice. I really like this one. You know what, we're gonna go with this one. Okay. We're gonna go with this one, how, all right, cool. I think uh, I really like this. It's got some really nice shapes, some really nice angles, really good. Uh, uh, yeah, this is, this is really good. All right, we'll, we'll do this one. We'll take on this challenge. Is everybody up for the challenge? We're up for the challenge. 
All right, let's let's do this. Let's do this one. All right, cool. I'm gonna go ahead and copy the image address. Oh, copy image address. Um, put it here. Paste that. It looks a little more serious. Oh, look at that. I'll put it in the chat as well. I see a hand up. Uh, is there a hand up? Oh, Josh. I'm gonna put your hand down, Josh. Unless you have a question or all good. Let me put it in the chat. Where's my chat? 31 people. Hey. All right, cool. All right, we got some uh, uh, hardcore heroes here tonight going for the hard stuff. <clears throat> All right, cool. So yeah, it's good to try. If you don't hit it, that's okay. It's about, you know, anything worth doing is worth doing, uh, you know, the best you can until you get better. And uh, yeah, that's, that's it. That's how actually you, you, you progress a little faster, taking on those, you know, those, those harder ones and saying, oh, that's all good. <laughs> it is what it is, you know, accepting. That's where I'm at. And you actually get to know where your challenges are. Uh, or yeah, we'll see. This one, let's see. Let me try to print it out. Um, that's a good size. Print it. See what comes out. Yeah, my, my, my printer at school, I just put new ink in it. It's kind of the, the prints are so nice. I'm like, wow. And it's a laser printer too. So it's, this one is an inkjet. Let's see, is it done already? Or is it giving me a, an error message? All right, so we're going to do this one. All right, let's break it down here though. Let's break it down before we start drawing it. And while my printer is uh, yelling at me. Something's wrong. A new firmware release update. Okay. Update the firmware. That's all right. Oh, no. You just turn it one thing at a time. I'm well into my 70s. I don't know who Snoop Dogg is. <laughs> Snoop Dogg, he's a he's a rapper. Um, uh, okay, senior. that's all you need to say. He's a he's a rapper. All okay. Right. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, Snoop Dogg from LBC, Long Beach. He's from here, Long Beach. Uh, all right. Actually, he went to the same high school. Um... Don't worry, you are not alone. I don't <laughs> know either. I don't know who Snoop Dogg is. <laughs> All right, so let me break them down a little bit. <laughs> break it down. All right, so these are the things you want to look for. Uh, let's see, uh, where's my annotation? There it is, annotation. We'll start off with the circle. Well, it's always good to start off with a circle and see how the circle fits here. Uh, I'm going to put a circle with, oh, red. All right, cool. There we go. There's my circle. It's about that size. Let me move it. So it's good to kind of like analyze and, and draw what you, what you, before you draw it. So you can see that circle fits like right there. Notice that circle, same height, same width. Uh, really great design here, whoever did this. And let's go with uh, this line here. You can see a really strong uh, line here, going there, and then this line here, and this line there. Right, and then, uh, you know, don't let the curves confuse you. Uh, that goes there and there is that curve in there and this thing to here too i mean there's those curves i could have drawn it or moved it a little bit closer but it's going in that direction it's that um what's the word uh, yeah it's in that direction uh, uh, it's going in that direction there's a curve parallel parallel yeah yeah these are parallel right they're pretty close yeah parallel and then here's that. Here's this muscle. Anybody remember? No. <laughs> yeah, it's the sternocleidomastoid. That's the sternocleidomastoid. It's in there. Uh, 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 what else should we look for? Oh, the angle of the eyes. Let's see the angle of the eyes. So just breaking it down. It's good actually to do this to pictures, or you can do it. You can see this is an angle there. That angle. Um, this angle. We are taking something on that's really challenging. So just like the, um, you know, the Jennifer Lopez drawing. Yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, let's see. Wow. So that's a whole other other thing. It's complex in there. I won't do that. I won't do that to you. All right. So hopefully that helps a little bit. Seeing those shapes, that circle. We will definitely start off with that circle and and then see that 
watch your spacing in there. Uh, uh, you can see in, even here the width compared to the height, it's a little bit longer, it's not quite square. It's almost square, it's just probably a little bit longer. So that's the ratio in there. All right, let's, uh, I like that right there. Uh, they never printed. Why not? Come on. Invalid. Oh, I don't know. It's acting up. All right. Well, sorry about that. Uh, I don't know what's going on. But we'll draw this. We'll go ahead and draw it. Um, so I'm going to unshare, stop sharing. Let's get going on this. Um, mm -hmm. No sheet. Here we go. Mm. All right, so I'm going to start off with that circle. Oh, should I? Huh. Now I close it and then, all right, I think I moved away. So uh, let's do it this pen again. This one? Yeah, this is good. So we got the circle. And there we go. And we got that shape that was here at about that angle, that angle here, and then this other angle there. And I almost do it <laughs> without thinking, but uh, that's it right there. See that? That's that's. Sorry, Eladio, you're upside down. No. I'm yeah. upside. Down. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. There Thank we go. You. Ah, that's it. All right, let's zoom in a little bit too. There we go. So yeah, I just do a circle, same height, same width, and then I have this angle here and that angle there. And if we need to make adjustments, that's fine. You know, as you're drawing, you're like, oh no, more space up here. Like I didn't catch the eyebrows in time, so like here, so that's fine. I and that's just a spacing problem. And that's okay until you're trying to draw somebody that's uh, you're trying to capture. And that's like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> it doesn't look like that person. That's okay. It's all good. We're just doing it for fun. And then again, uh, see the angle of two parallel lines uh, that kind of come out this way. Get along, not quite a rectangle. And then there we go, let's say that shoulder that goes in there. T-shirt. All right, so oof. I think I think the biggest thing is that eye. Getting that eye in there is going to be a is going to be a challenge. There's a slight angle, so make sure you're getting that slight angle in there, right to the center. I think that uh, eye is like right in that center of that circle. That's actually something I should have checked for in the spacing, but it looks like it's in the center. Maybe a little bit to the left, but that eye should be right about there. Um, I'm going to sketch it in. I'm just going to sketch it in. I'm going to say, okay, that my eye is going to be right about there. Uh, I'm just checking my spacing, the eyebrow, and uh, that cheekbone. That cheekbone that's right about there. Mm -mm. This is the cheek that looks good. And this whole um, mouth right there. I'm going to bring it out a little bit more, that chin. Can you slow down a little? Oh, sure, sure. Thanks for letting me know. <laughs> I'm used to going fast. Oh, glad you're here, Josh. Glad you're here. All right, cool. Glad you're telling me. Yeah, slow down. Guys, I'm just blocking stuff in, just throwing stuff in. Uh, 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 uh. There we go. The other eye, I think the other eye might have to raise it. I don't know. Let's put that nose in there. <clears throat> I'm slowing down, slowing down. All right, that nose, I'm thinking it's right about in here, right about there. And I'm going really light. I'm just, just blocking everything in, seeing how it all kind of fits and where it kind of goes. I'm not worrying about the details. I'm just worrying like the big shapes, like an eye. I'm going to put the eye. It's going to be right about there. Uh, it should be lower. I don't know. Let me see. I, think I'm gonna, I guess I'm going to bring it up. According to this line, it should be lower, but the way I'm looking at it now, now that I'm, I kind of drew this eye in, it is lower, but not at that angle. If I draw above my drawing, if I bring this down, there we go. I should look down, not at an angle. If I'm looking at an angle, it does get distorted a little bit. So if you're looking down at your paper, that does make a difference as well. And now, actually, I might make, might make the forehead bigger. Let's see. We're just blocking stuff in, looking at spacing. 
So there's my eye. Here's my nose, this angle there. This shape right in there, that nose. This is not simple. Not simple at all. So if you're giving it a go, congratulations, taking on the challenge. All right, there's that nose. And then here's, I'm trying to go lightly with this pin. And then I'll make adjustments later. Just hopefully it turns out. This whole shape in here, this whole shape of the uh, mouth. And then the lip is going to be right in there. Finding the center of that lip where the two lips kind of meet. Just, I'm not worried about the shape of it. I might lift this eye a little bit. Looking at it and just see. And now I'm just, it's all kind of like, it's all um, a little bit scribbly. All right, the top of the eyebrow. And this eyebrow on this side. I want to get that roundness of that, that head. I'm bringing it up a little bit more. That's good. Yeah, bringing it up a little bit more. Started off down here, but I'm bringing it up and then bringing it down. All right. I think that's, I think I'm, let's put the, he's got, I don't know, what is that called? There's a name for that kind of um, hat. It's not a hat, it's uh, something. It's a do-rag. Do-rag, there you go. That's what it is. <laughs> Haven't heard in a while. I was a high school teacher. Ah, uh, <laughs> too fair. That's what it is, yeah. All right, so I'm trying to capture the form of the head. It was round, but I'm like, it's way up here. I'm going way up higher. I'm making that adjustment. So, you know, feel free to make those adjustments. It's better if we have the picture side by side. I'm looking up and down at the same time, uh, my printer. Apologize for that. Uh, gotta check that out. Um, all right, so let's see. Looking up and down. Um, getting a feel for everything, how it flows, the flow of the line, how everything, the angle of the eyes. Uh, somebody's coming in right now. Let's see who could that be. Uh, 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 oh, good. So that actually that proves that people can come in later at later times. Uh, except I have to let them in. Uh, there it goes, Henry P. All right, cool. So we're at 31 people now. All right. Okay, cool. Good. This doesn't look like him too much, but uh, we'll see if we can we can uh, get it to be that way. So I got my eyes. Uh, let's see. Let's try to get that angle. I think that placement looks pretty good. The ear back here. Right about there. And then uh, a little bit more of that do rag up here i'm bringing it out a little bit more just getting everything to see how it fits i think that's and then i'll put this muscle this muscle is the sternocleidomastoid it comes in here like that it it attaches from the back of the head to the sternum there it goes that like that that muscle it really exaggerated and then the um I, we have these two lines parallel but we're going to start adding that little bit of a curve that um, Adam's apple. Just a little bit of a curve and bringing it out almost on that line. Right there too. And then the neck curves in and then out. That's good. I like that. That has a good feel. It has a good feel to it. All right. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and start with this uh, eye right here. Ay, ay, ay. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and start with this eye, um, and then we'll, we'll go I'll build around it. I, I have, a, I think, a good foundation for it. But um, I'm gonna go ahead right in here. I'm gonna start with that eyelid, cut it right in there. This eyelash, eyelid, eyelid, eyelash. These eyelashes, the top eyelash. There's a thickness to it, and uh, there's a slight angle. So it's going to be tricky to get a little bit of thickness and it's pretty real. So I'm not going to shoot for that realism. I'm just trying to shoot for accuracy. So there's that. And then um, this circle shape. There we go. And there's a nice um, highlight underneath. There's no reflection in the eyes. There's a slight reflection as far as like, well, not like a highlight. There's a slight reflection, but there's no, no uh, highlight. That's what I meant to say. 
There we go. So there's that shape. That's the shape of the eye that I see. That. So then there's a little bit of an eyelid. Okay, let me see out of here. Let me zoom in so you can see that because definitely want to capture that eye. That eye shape is going to be crucial and how it fits. I mean, I don't know. That's 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 a that just takes practice and uh, seeing the relationships because sometimes your eye might be too big or too small, but in the right space, right? It's it's how it, how it fits in there. And there's that eye. I'm going to go for the eyelid now. <laughs> there we go, eyelid. And then uh, I think next week we might do, um, uh, we'll take a break from caricatures. Maybe we'll do some uh, some line stuff, uh, some, the line website. That's actually good exercises. Now, all this area is actually in the dark. Well, we'll see. Actually, we'll talk about shading afterwards. But yeah, this is kind of like almost blends together with this um, shadow that's in here. Actually, about, about the thickness, about that thick right in there. All this is actually all kind of like shaded together. It gets lost in there. Having this little, like a brow. There's the eyelid, and then um, between the eyebrow, yeah, right in there. And I'm looking at this space in here, that space, that little bit of shadow coming down right in there. Yeah, there's a little bit of a shadow. That's that shadow line. And I'm looking at this shape right in here. There's a really nice shape if you have the <laughs> picture in front of you. That's that shape. <clears throat> then you have all this in shadow. All this is in shadow. I'm just going to throw a slight, slight shade in there. Mm -mm -mm. All right, let's get that eyebrow uh, right about in here. There's a slight thickness to it, but it's, it's blended in there. It's blended. It's not a really strong brow. It's big, but it's not like really bold. It's kind of just in there. That's good. And then in here is that little bit of a shaded. That's going to be an interesting one. Shading all this is going to be interesting. I'm already starting to shade slightly. But all this is going to be, all the shading that goes in there is going to take some time. All right. I think I'm happy with that. Now I'm going to look at the spacing here. If I have to make adjustments on this side, oh, that's fine. I'm using this as my, my I'm happy with this. So if I have to make adjustments elsewhere, I would make them. I'm going to use this as my measuring to, to make sure everything else is kind of goes together. So there is a shadow um, under here, or even like an, uh, so I'm not going to go too dark. There's this whole shadow shape. I would probably almost say a triangular, triangular shape this way here. Oh, this is like a little bit of a shadow underneath. Yeah, I'm gonna put a slight shape around that. So it's two lines, one line there, one line there. And there's slight little variance. I mean, like a little bit of uh, like a little darker here, a little darker there. Even this whole eye, the white of the eye isn't like straight white. I would probably even shade that slightly going in there and then uh, leaving that inside. There's a little bit of a glow in there. Same thing in here. Um, right under here, because the, the eye, bottom eyelid, the, the light captures it right there, and then it goes dark. So it does capture, if you can capture that little bit of that eyelid, the lightness, don't <laughs> touch it as far as shading it. Let's see, I think I might go, oh, that's good. That's good, right there. So I don't know if it's gonna work out. The Biden turned out, this, one, this one's uh, challenging. He's got a three quarter view. It's not a profile. It's a three-quarter view, which is the harder of the views to do. All right. It's the harder one. See, now I have this eye. Now I can actually relate this eye to the other eye uh, and get try to get that angle. If I need to go higher or lower, that's okay. I already got my, my foundation here, my, my strong foundation. Um, he does have uh, like a wrinkle 
that kind of comes in here. Uh, all right, let's see. Henry P is back again. Right. He's having trouble. At John Doe. And yeah, you, you need to stop. Yeah. John Doe. Is he back? Oh, no, that was that's an old text, an old chapter. All right. Henry's back. Welcome back, Henry. Oh, I think he's having Wi Fi problems or trouble. <clears throat> okay. So uh, let's see. Where was I? Oh, yeah. There's a little bit of a. a it's not a wrinkle or I don't know what it is. I would say it comes in here, right in there. Kind of comes in there like that between the nose. And then actually I would probably, because because of that spacing, I'm probably push the nose out a little bit more. I'm slightly out. It's just these little micro movements. I mean, this is like plastic surgery we're doing here. It has a really nice, yeah, I'm getting that placement of that nose. And I was gonna say it has a really nice bridge on that nose. It has a really nice bridge. So on top of the nose, there's a, like a little bit of a shade. And then it goes to light. There's a oh. that ridge there. Okay. So yeah, this is not easy. But I'm glad we have a lot of people trying giving it a go. I don't know. I don't even know if I were gonna make it, if I'm gonna, yeah, I'm I, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Now um, I'm seeing now I know I need to lower this eye a little bit more because I'm, I'm following this top of this uh, eye, eyelid or eyelash and I'm kind of bringing it down I'm, and I'm seeing it on the picture and I'm seeing that it should be uh, a little bit lower here so I'm going to bring this a little bit lower there we go that's a good spot and the eyelash does stick out on this other side see that's good probably bring it down a little bit more from where it was from where I had it originally. All right, trying to get the placement. And then the inside of the eye. And this eye is a little bit smaller than that eye. So it's further away. So it's using size to, um, to show space. There we go. Right there. That's good. All this is in dark. This. So this this the artist that did this really knows value in, in shades and stuff. So it's in darkness back here. And even that highlight. Let's see here. Mm -hmm. That uh, the upper eyelid, the bottom eyelid, how it captures the light. It is lighter, but it still has shade on it over it. So all this is kind of slightly shaded in there. All right. So yeah, definitely his nose is um, going to be part of, of his character and, and trying to capture that nose. Um, it does have that bridge that's coming down. I can You can see that how I did it right there. Like there's a, like a that bridge that's parallel. It does, there's a little bit of a curve and then it widens up. Uh, that bridge part widens up slightly right at that tip. Right here. And then there's a little bit of an angle right there. That straight up and down almost. Yeah, straight up and down. And then it curves in. And I'm making it a little bit wider, a little bit bigger than what I have there. Just right on top like that. So we got that shape. Now the nostril, all right? Nostril, get that nostril in there. Uh, that's the inside part. I don't know if we're gonna hit it, but we're trying. This whole nostril shape, very, um, yeah. Once you see nostrils and practice drawing nostrils, you'll see that sometimes the inside right there curves and then it goes out into like that oval shape. Try to capture that. All right, half an hour at this. And we got 31, still people look strong, going strong. I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> trying to say, okay, trying to say, uh, build my own confidence here, trying to get this. Eh, we're taking on a challenge. That's good, that's good. All right. So this whole area here now is uh, in shade. I got the nostril. You can see I did that nostril. Uh, in here, that shade comes up in here, 
So that whole bottom of the nose, all this bottom is in shade right in there. So um, try to capture that shade. There's a little bit of shade on that nostril on that side. And there's a reflected light, really nice bouncing light, bouncing light underneath that nose. So you want to try to keep that light uh, right, right under that nose part. And then over here, I'm going to shade just a little bit darker. So I'm already starting to do some shading as I'm working here and there as I go through it. A little bit of shade right in here, right in there, just a slight little touch. It's these little touches, touches, little pushes. And all of this is in shade in here. All right, so let's get um, let's get that nose. I'm gonna widen it up. It's actually that side, that dark side, and then this is the um, what is that called? The the cheek, that cheek that comes out here. And, uh, bring this back a little bit more. I see. I made a mistake right there. That brought it back. Bring this. See how this flows in here. Like even this shape here, how this flows out that way. Trying to capture that in this laugh line. Are they called laugh lines? Yeah, this laugh line from the nose. And it's it's a wide. So actually, it's all kind of all this is um, one shade in here. Yeah, we, can sh we should talk about values. Oh, that would have been a good one to, to um, break it down into shades. Yeah, because there's, there's a lot of there's a lot of slight. Um, yeah, if I would have taken it into uh, like Photoshop or that photo P. Uh, so you can see the shapes of the, the values because the values on this one, this is definitely advanced for the values, the value usage. Um, okay, so there's, yeah, there's some light hitting right in here, right up, right under that laugh line. And then the mustache comes in. You got to make sure you have that, that little thing. Uh, here's the mustache. I mean, actually, I didn't draw any detail here. I would say that angle here and then... Uh, down this way. Oh. Do these lips here. Interesting. A little bit of a hair sticking out. Like a little bump. That texture on that side. So then all this is really dark on this side and it actually gets a little bit lighter but it's still dark on this whole mustache thing and it curves down you want to capture that curve because that lip is right there so this mustache comes up and wraps around that lip that top lip there it is there's the, and there's really nice little reflected lights. There's a, like a little bit of a reflected light right, right above this line right here, right where the lips meet. There's a little bit of a reflected light right above that. And then here we go, is that one. Glad you guys are hanging in there. That's awesome. I can't wait to see these. Because it's not easy, not easy. Well, you're taking it on. I'm glad you're taking on this challenge with me. Uh, 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 it's coming along. I feel it's coming along, but it's not. It's not simple. Definitely, it's. It's. They're not. They're not squares and circles, like that. But yeah, this is the next level. Next level. Definitely next level. Even if you're just here listening to us, hanging in there, that's awesome. That's great. All right, so on this lip, there's shade and there's a highlight. There's actually a, a light above it. So where the mustache is, um, there's two shades. So you have that shade of the light hitting the top of the lip, and then you have the, the, the lip itself that's shaded, and then you have a little bit of a reflected light. So we're trying to get all those three. So the top, I'm gonna actually not even touch it. So you can see kind of exaggerating. I might've um, not even given it enough space. So um, that top has a little bit of light on it. You have the shade of the lip, and then you have a little bit of reflected light. So I'm really just shading the, the, the color of the lip, trying to keep the reflected light, which is right at the bottom right there, bouncing. And then the top of the lip also has some, uh, some which I'm I actually leaving alone as well. I'm just like almost shading the middle of the lip. 
So there's three parts, right? And this is probably the middle part that's the most important part. And then you have the top and the bottom. I don't know, let me zoom in so you can see that. That was a little bit of a trick, right? So yeah, that's that whole lip. And then there's a little bit of reflected, little lights that are bouncing back here that really make it pop. Drawing pop. Let's see. There we go. Shade this in. Try to keep that there. Try to keep this shape here. Bringing it down. Is that that other angle? There we go. All right. It's looking good. Okay, so this lip comes out, bring it out a little more like that. There we go. Yeah, it's coming along. All right, there's the top lip, the bottom lip. Bottom lip just curves in and up and um, attaches inside of that top lip or the, the, the split, that split. Notice right there, right there, that split and then comes down and curves around. And actually this area is darker than the top part. So all this in here is dark. I'm gonna, before I even go into more shading, I'm gonna see if I can make sure this is all right. Actually, this looks good. I got this angle and then I got the chin. The chin, they, they did definitely made a caricature of that chin, really pushed it out a little bit. And then you know, this comes up. There's a little bit of a curve here adding that little bit slight curve, slight curves. And then, yeah, I think, I think we're, it's looking all right. It's looking all right. Okay. Let's do the inside of the mouth. It's in darkness. I'm going to shade that all in right in there. Keeping that um, line shade into it slightly. And then under that line is dark because this is where shadow, the shadow hits underneath the shadow lurks. Under there, not as dark. Now this is, if you have a pencil, probably be a little bit easier. But it's really trying to nail the sh the different values, the different values. Let's see anything in the chat. I haven't seen the chat for a while. I don't know. I'm, I think I unmuted everybody. So oh no, nothing in the chat. Uh, let me zoom out a little bit now that I'm looking at it. Uh, zoom out a little bit. There we go. It's coming along. It's coming along. Zoom in. In there. So it's all right. It's not an easy one. We definitely picked a challenging one. Different the angles, three quarter view, caricature. All right, let's uh, get a lot of shading and interesting. I'm just shading without really explaining the values and and uh, yeah, because after seeing values, the next level is color next level although you can do color but then you know eventually grow your knowledge in both but you should focus on value for a while and then seeing okay lights and darks and then get into color okay cool yeah i'm doing these shades here now or shading stuff in I'm gonna shade the, the beard, the, not the beard, the, yeah, the goatee or whatever it is. A little bit darker. Widen this up. Can you bring your screen up a little bit, please? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, zoom out. There, there you, you go. go. That's it. There we go. Yep. yep. in here and actually it's uh there's a little bit of light in there but it's uh, not totally dark yeah the artist whoever did this is really good i mean you can even just see his brush strokes very very nice very good caricature all right and all this is going to be shaded in there all this uh this jawline Definitely his cheeks. He's got really heavy cheeks. 
that's one of his characteristics. It's these cheeks in here. So all this shaded in here. And I like the way it kind of like curves and pushes it in slightly right in there. All this little stuff, shade all this. All right, let's go up in here, I think. Let's, I'm gonna go back up. I'm gonna go back up in here and then uh, make my way back over again. Especially for those of you doing it in, uh, in pencil, if you're doing it in pencil, uh, you don't want to put, <laughs> put your hand on or you've drawn already and kind of smear your drawing. It's like, oh, you can also, another thing to do is actually have another sheet of paper and put it on your drawing as you're drawing so you don't smear your drawing, especially when you're getting into shading, right? You don't want to smear your drawing. Mm -mm -mm. All right, man, you got people hanging in there. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome blossom. I think I went a little bit dark on my, my nose, the top of this nose a little bit. That's okay. I lost a little bit of the shape, but it's already a caricature, so it's not a big deal. He does have these heavy brows. That's where this uh, caricature really pushes this eyebrow right in here. You can get that eyelid. It kind of, it's kind of in there. It's a soft, really soft edge really soft edge. It's all into the shading. It's all lost. Actually, it's pretty lost in the shading in there, but it's in there, slightly shaded. And then comes up and over slightly. Shade all this. Shape. There it is. Oh, yeah. That brow really, just that, just that little brow, I think, really makes, does it for me. Um, see you next week if you're dropping out I, I thought you were going to say awesome possum but you said awesome blossom <laughs> awesome blossom awesome possum <laughs> that's when you and I was teaching you new things every time <laughs> <laughs> that's all good you're open minded all right so this one you can see a little bit of a brow line there's actually I don't know it's interesting there's like a brow line right in here it's not, he, he's got a thick brow on this side, but this side is there's like a little bit of a line. And then all this is shaded in there. I don't know if there's much of a brow on this side. Okay. Thank you, Lario. And good all right, night, you everyone. All right. Good night. Good seeing you. Good See you later. Yeah. All right. Good night. I know it's, it's almost midnight out there. Yeah. Yeah. It's a mic. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's sweet. Hold on. Let me spotlight everybody. Hold on. That's awesome. In color. There it is. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Now everybody's not going to want to show their work. Oh, <laughs> very nice. Wow. All right. Good. You moved ahead. Uh, okay. Thank you. I you know Thank who Snoop Dogg is. <laughs> Bye, wow. <laughs> Thank you. Thank See you. you. See you next time. All right. Bye, Yule. Okay. So here we go. Let's uh, get back at it. Okay. Cool. So yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And uh, the shade under the brow. I'm gonna bring that'll bring the brows together and uh, all this other shading. Let me see, uh, let me shade a little bit of the brow in now. It's between the two eyes right here underneath. Let me see, right under that shape right there. Go. Yeah, she, she moved ahead, that's good. <laughs> so she wasn't listening to me, which is fine. Claudia, can I ask you a novice question? Yeah. Um, I came in a little bit late during the uh, uh, meeting, but uh, what is what is the instrument that you're actually uh, you, uh, drawing with? I it's mean, what, a ballpoint. What? It's a ballpoint pen. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Nothing okay. special. But it's interesting that you're able to get the different uh, um, uh, contrast. Yeah, the different values, the different shades. Yeah. Um, it's just uh, you know. Um, I'm doing uh, hatching and cross hatching and 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 different, um, you know, it's uh, yeah, different. Because I went, I, I took my little trip to the draw to the store and I bought, you know, the number two, three, four, five, you know, yeah. all those number pencils uh, uh, three or four years ago. And of course, 
it's a little bit more difficult because you know you have to apply different pressures and then uh, different pencils for to get the effect but it's interesting what you're able to achieve with that uh, um with that pen yeah love one pen yeah hmm. thank you you're welcome and you do see the hatch marks i remember uh, i did a pin drawing of my one of my teachers and she goes oh you gave me so many wrinkles but she was joking around i go like no that's the it's the pen but it, i know she was just joking um yeah that was in high school yeah, it's, it's, and it's hatch marks and then you get just, you're just used to it i mean i don't know it's, it's it's going back and forth really quickly i can get a really tight hatch marks and it's good because now if I do it in pencil, I can easily just blend that in or, or have the pencil at an angle like this and, and, and blend it in and get even smoother, smoother shading. But I can see I can build up my layers. I can actually go darker in this area if I want to push the darks. I can go over with some more hatching, go darker in some of these areas. Like in here, uh, I can go a little bit darker in there. All right, let's get that do rag in there. Let's get do that do rag. I think I need to do a little more space. I doed it too, too, a little bit short. I'm looking at that space. I'm looking at this angle. Let's get that in there. And that little sketch is off. That's okay. It does come down and up and over. Uh, there you go. Let's see. Up and over. Oh, and it's got a really nice, a little bit of a bump right on that forehead. Just slight. I mean, this is just, they're just so slight. It's almost imperceivable. There we go. That's good there. Oh, there's something that's missing. I don't know. That's all good. Let's uh, put that ear in there. Hey, all this needs to be shaded, but there's something that's bugging me. I think I might be looking back and forth. I might make that a little bit smaller or shade that in a little bit. All these little micro adjustments. Go a little bit darker in here. All right, that's good. Now, all this is going to be shaded in here. <clears throat> so, But I'm still on the do-rag. Let's go to the do-rag up here. There's that thickness here. On that do rag, come back over and then shade that in. And I can keep going with the uh, hatching. And I have this other, I sometimes use a um, a grease pencil, the grease pencil. I like the grease pencil because I can shade really quickly with a grease pencil. Yeah, I use non-traditional tools. I think, I don't know. Well, no, I've always kind of done it. I was going to say, because I, I know in college I had a teacher. He didn't even do it. He, he talked about I talked about it. I actually did it in a class once with a piece of chocolate I, I, did, I, I drew. As you can draw, you know. And every instrument, every material has its limitations. It's learning to see, and, and it, it's a constraint. Right, um, and you learn. Okay, okay, you push it as far as you can, and um, and you learn from it. Actually, for chocolate, would you need to put like a fixative or hairspray or something? So like, I want to attract bugs or arise. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure it'll attract ants and stuff. Yeah, um, but uh, fixative. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Um, Depends on how thick you draw. Actually, uh, where's my? I don't have chocolate. <laughs> One night we'll do a chocolate drawing. And it depends on the chocolate. Dark chocolate actually works better. <laughs> to draw. I have this caramel chocolate. I don't know. <laughs> no. <laughs> and it's better to be eaten than drawn. <laughs> 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 We're saving this one for a back pocket now. Just kidding. <laughs> I'll back pocket. <laughs> I like I like how you're referring back to our Valentine's. All right. So now I'm adding, I'm still going, I'm adding a little bit even more to the top of the head to get that roundedness. I feel like I kind of missed it a little bit. 
but I'm getting that shape, that shape. I'm adding just slightly a little bit more to that shape. That looks good. Let me look back and forth. I'm comparing and contrasting. I'm looking back and forth, back and forth from my drawing to that copy. There you go. There's all these little designs up in here. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to shade it in. I'm not. That's going to we'll be here all night. <laughs> I'll be here all night. Try the veal. All right. See, I did add uh, a little bit. Really trying to capture that 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 shape, that form. And that only comes with practice. You really, um, you know, seeing that circle shape that I kind of start off with. And then seeing that, having that feel for that, how it all kind of attaches. Uh, I think push this back a little bit. All right. Okay, so all this shading in here, this cheek area. So you've got this whole really bold cheekbone. And um, there's very... The value changes are very subtle. That's the word, very subtle value changes. So it, it brings up the value even higher, but that's probably the core shadow, if I'd call it a core shadow, all in there about that shape, and that core shadow right in there. And then everything else, I'm gonna blend it up and in, in, into the uh, face. So all this I'm kind of blending together. And you'll lose some of the core shadow look, but that's the core shadow. And then I'm bringing this up, softening it up. That's the hardest thing for new students, uh, new art, uh, students to see is those the um, the gradients, how things slowly change in value, and, and the gradual change. You know, you have some students when they're drawing, they jump from you know, it's like I would say it's a gradual change, like you're grading, like a grade. You're in fifth grade to sixth grade to seventh grade. Some of you guys are jumping from fifth grade to twelfth grade. So there's a big jump, right? So, so sometimes those slight changes from like fifth to sixth grade, you don't notice those slight changes. Let's see those, those changes, those gradients from grade to grade. There we go. I'm actually add a little more shade in here. I can always shade darker. Let's see, add a nice little patch all the way through it and then build it up. I'm going to building up the, the shade, building it up. There we go. All right. Thank you for joining us. Wow. We got down to 28. That's good. Uh, here we go. There's a little bit of a right here, a little bit of a gradient, a little softening up of that eyebrow, that right here, the eyelid right here, right above the eyelid, actually. A little bit of soft. See, I soften it up. It's those slight changes that make the difference. It's seeing them, recording them. Mm. I think, I don't know if I nailed, I think there's something, something that's bugging me. I think I'm gonna close this eye just slightly. Yeah, yeah sometimes it, yeah, it's, oh, there we go. And soften all this up again, blend it in, blending it in, almost losing that, um, that core shadow bringing all this in, softening it all up, darkening all this a little more. Then the inside of the ear, that's all it is, just like a little spot, makes it easier. There's the do-rag under the ear is all shaded, a big old shade, a little pretty dark. And then it, um, it actually tapers off. Notice like this triangular shape. See that triangular shape as it comes down, seeing that shape. But it's soft, it's a soft, there it is. All these are soft. And like this whole area right here, it's not just a line, it's actually a soft, um, soft shape. It's really soft. It's right there. All right, shade all this in. Adam's apple. Ballpoint pen. 
time is it? 8.54. Going really hardcore. We've been at this for an hour. All right. This curves out a little bit. We're almost there. His, his locks or his dreads or his hair needs to get done. I'm looking at my spacing. There's something bugging me about this eye. I don't know. It's all good. I just got to let it go. I'm going to go darker in here a little bit. Is it because you, maybe you're used to putting eyelashes? Um, no, I think it's, uh, you know, it's a good thing to do is looking at it upside down. Uh, looking at it upside down and then comparing it to, I don't know, I can't, I can't nail it. I think it's just, I think the placement is slightly off, but yeah, I think, I don't know, I think it might be a little further in, but I'm just picky that way. Well, that's okay. Next time. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go darker with the eyebrow, actually. You know what? I think that's what it is. Here the eyebrow. I'm bringing the eyebrows a little bit more. I'm looking back and forth, trying to capture it. Sometimes with a fresh eye, too, coming back to this. Because it's hard. We're going straight, an hour straight. You know, we've been looking at this thing an hour straight. Your eyes get twisted. I'm like, wait a minute. You, you don't even know what you're looking at anymore. But, um, you know, we, we went like an hour straight. Um, if we're to take a break, come back and look at it with a fresh eye, then you'll see all oh, like, oh, okay, I see this now. Oh, I see that now. You know, and I've done that actually in this class. I'm like, oh, wait a minute. And, you know, you reflect and take take a break, you know, you get mental fatigue or whatever it is. You know, good breaks are good to walk around and stretch. Yeah, sitting, sitting is, is dangerous for an artist. You know, anybody actually, you want to, you know, move around get exercise health is so important all right so i'm actually um rounding out the the shape of the head a little bit i'm adding more shade on the side so that makes it rounded a little more rounded by adding that dark darker area here and let's get those braids in they just kind of flow right out you don't, really can't see where it starts or stops so it's all this like one shade here. And then uh, there's three braids. So I'll just get the top one first. It just comes up. I'll just get the, the I'm going to line it in first and then curve it. I'm going to just get the, that because I don't know. I might have to move something in. This neck, I might have to move over. Yeah, I'm going to do that because now I can see if I put this other hair in here. It's not going to leave enough room for the third one. So that neckline is now going to become the third hair. The third hair. See, and I'm going to move my neckline in. You just got to make these adjustments sometimes. You know, just like, oh, it's all problem solving. Solving a problem, figuring things out. Like, okay, wait a minute. That's too close. That's too far. How can we space it in? How can we get it to fit? All right, all right. I can move the neckline in. And that's what art, I mean, I don't know. Art being taken out of... Um, schools and stuff i mean it's been brought back a lot but but you know you're solving problems you're figuring out you're learning to observe there's a lot of pros learning to see draw what you see express yourself uh, although you know copying is not really you are expressing yourself but it's somebody else's expression it's good to once you get to the point of you're drawing your own and you're expressing your own things your own thinking and your feeling you know expressing yourself it's huge it's huge students they you know they don't know they don't know to, how to express themselves what they're thinking what they're feeling that's why like they're those those uh scott mcleod drawings and was, was it yelena who drew the yeah the characters yeah all right so here we go i'm putting just shading in here in a different direction in the cross hatch Ooh, let's zoom out a little bit i just looked up I feel like still want to add some more forehead or some more top of the head. Slight. I keep adding. See, this is a sculptural way to draw. I can keep adding and make it, you know, there you go, a little wider. Okay, cool. We're almost there. We're almost there. 8.58. Yeah, one hour later. There we go. Just all the shading in here. Uh, he's got a, a muscle shirt. I hate the other word for it. 
Anybody know? I <laughs> don't say it. I don't. I don't know where. It, it's terrible. I don't want to go down that road again. So I'm going darker. I'm going darker. See, I'm actually pushing this darker now. I'm looking for. Uh, I can go darker. Go back and forth. Go a little bit darker in some areas. Push the darkness. Go back in there. This eye bugging something about it. Go oh, sideways. It's not too bad. Not too bad. It's all good. All right. Let's see. Uh, okay. So I've got the 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 line the the hair hair lines now to add the texture and to add um so they don't look just like lines. They look more like, I don't know, I don't like, that's one thing, I'll just, I'll just thicken them up. I'm going to go a little bit higher so I can have more space because I feel like I'm, I uh, didn't put enough space. So I'm going to go a little bit higher. I'm just going in circles here just to get the texture and, and a, a really quick, not shooting for accuracy. I'm just shooting to get the feel of it. I'm not really shooting for accuracy at this point. I want to wind this drawing up. And uh, getting this movement down here, and it curves in. There we go. Just getting thickening it up. This side too, just in little circles. Again, thickening up that one line. Somebody get the dryer. All right. So this line actually crosses uh, the bottom line so the, this one goes under and then this other line here it crosses over up over and then down again so there's this crossover of these two hairs right there cute i think my spacing is off but that's all right i'm not going to worry about it this is not that important where it is important is the face trying to get the face accurate i think we we got that nose i really think i, I got the feel of that nose in there there's something about the eye that just bugs me. I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out like a day later, like, oh, wait a minute. But it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> oh, man, that was 30 years ago. Wow. And so the story goes, <laughs> student, the end of the semester after missing class and Mr. Chavez what's my grade oh you know what shoot you haven't been here you haven't done any of the work I had to fail you oh it's all good <laughs> oh my God. it's 903 903 all right I think we're just about done I think just need the shoulder and uh and sharing if you want to share feel free to share now while I, I draw if you want to share I can continue this shading in here it's just all these little adjustments I'll probably go darker in some areas push back it's pushing things back i can't erase so I, you know i get it's it's uh, it's kind of like a good thing and a bad thing that's yeah. so cool i just realized you're using pen yeah, it's, it's, i it's, thought it was pencil the whole time easy. that's so oh, cool ballpoint ballpoint pen impressive <laughs> it's, it's just you know it's just doing it it's yeah, the chat this the chat right. just disabled Oh, the chat's disabled? Oh, sorry. Let me uh, enable the chat again. Oh, there you go. All right, Joshua, thanks you for uh, joining us this week. We'll see you next week. Good to see you. Yeah. If you want to throw anything in the chat, yeah, I disabled the chat. There we go. If you want to throw something in the chat, thank you for joining us. All right, Sketchbook Heroes, another good week. I think, uh, I think last week, uh, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> It's all good. I says this is interesting where the um this shape is here. You got this C shape, and then you got this other shape that goes right there with the deltoid. The deltoid is it the, the pex, the pectoralis. This is the deltoid, this muscle here. And there's a little bit of a thickness. So winding that up. And then the 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 the, shirt, the muscle shirt gets lost in here. Actually, you don't really see it the other side, kind of gets lost in the background. So it really just uh, does a really nice job of just making that contrast of the shading.
of the of him just popping out like that. And then in there, all this just shooting and close to the edge of that paper. Up, up, and at him. I think. Uh, I, think I, 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 I squeezed it in. Uh, I did. So I'm actually not being accurate to the shoulder here a little bit. I'm squeezing it in. Oh, it's all good. It's all my planning was off a little bit down there. Yeah, all this. I'll just shade it in. There's uh, highlights and stuff like that, but I'm not going to worry about them. Like Josh said, an hour. It's, speaking of hours, sunny here still? She, where's she at? I'm at H I G Calamino. Calamino. No, she's gone. Sunny's gone. Oh, no, she, no that's different, Sunny. Sunny Carruthers. Uh, bye everybody. Bye, Josh. Bye. All right. So, uh, if you want, want to share out, um, I'm still shading here a little bit. Um, and I'll take questions. You can throw stuff in the chat if you want to. Uh, we'll definitely. I think. Um, I don't know. We'll put that um, room, and maybe have. Uh, I don't know members. I'll share with you. Judy. All right. All right, Judy, what you got? I'm Are ready you for leave? bed. Sorry? I'm ready for bed. All right. Thank you for joining us. I think I think this is uh turned out all right. I think uh let's see. Uh, I'm gonna stop my spotlight and I'll always person. know who Snoop Dogg is. I now you know. in and he said, That's Snoop Dogg. I said, How did you know that? <laughs> oh, really? Looks oh, good. He saw your drawing too. Oh, oh wow, look at Judy's. All right. Wow. Yeah, yours looks good. Let me, uh, we'll start. I don't know if Jessica had her hand up first. I think we're going to go just in order. Yeah, I didn't see Judy, so I don't think she was spotlighted. Or... Oh, she wasn't? Oh, let me spotlight you. Yeah, she looks good. Let me see. She's jumping. Order. Let me see. Here we go. <laughs> wow. Ooh, nice. Nice. Yeah. Yes, yeah, Snoop Dogg. Guys, they're hard act to follow. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's good. Very... Thank you. All right. Yeah, wow, these characters are good. Very good. Now job. watch watch for him in commercials. You'll love him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's in commercials. Thank you. Uh, yeah, it's like, hey, there's Snoop Dogg. <laughs> All right, Jessica, what you got? Let's see. All right. Yeah, oh, there nice. he goes. Yeah, yeah, he's got attitude on that one. He's definitely <laughs> <Thanks. laughs> looks kind of ball. I think now seeing it that way, I think I should do this directly. Uh-huh. Yeah, I was trying this. I looks better than I thought was at first. I did that. Uh -huh. <laughs> the three quarter view is, is a tough view. I mean, we practice the front view and the side view, and then the three -quarter view. we went straight to the three quarter view. But sweet, I really like the on yours. The, the one like eyelash, it looks really clean. I oh, tried. yeah, that one little eyelash that sticks out. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. These are these have been fun. The caricatures. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Jessica. Thank you for shading, sharing, shading, and sharing. All right. <laughs> All right. We'll go, with Regina. Regina, what you got? Let's see. Uh, spotlight my face. Okay. Uh, these are all my little faces. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. And then. Uh, you have a great feel. Oh my oh, god. Oh, nice. Really good. Yeah. yeah. Sweet, sweet. All right, great, great. Your values, your values are looking, looking good, and that's yeah. You, know, you don't use it. Oh, I don't see a lot of uh, pencil marks like uh, striations and crisscrosses. You look like you you do it and you smooth it in there. So um, some I did some cross hatching on the head, and then others I just use my finger to okay it in your foot finger. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you for sharing. All right, let's go with Sunny. Let's go with Sunny. What you got? Yeah, wow. Very yeah. Nice. Very nice. Reminds me of um who is that? Oh, there's a European artist. I can't remember his name. Oh. I'll, like a I'll, saint. I'll, 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 huh? A saint, one of the saints. Uh, a saint, yeah, huh? Yeah, yeah. Like some European art. Mm -hmm. That's good. Very good. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, it's got good good form. Oh, big body. What's that? Uh, I don't know. All right, uh, well, let's go. Thank you for sharing. Let's go with uh, Cindy. All right, good night. 
Thank you for sharing. Let's go with um. Cindy. There you go. I think I needed a bigger piece of paper. <laughs> uh, I think you know. I think you the, the, the spacing is good. I think that's good. Yeah, it was it was fun. I I've uh, never drawn people before, so this was wow. It was a good good, good challenge. Took on the challenge, yeah. Three quarter view. Wow, I'm impressed. Yeah. Yeah, it's not easy. Not easy, but you did it. Awesome. Yeah. No, it was fun. Thanks for thanks for doing it. Oh, you're welcome. Let's go with Ina. Let's go with Ina. Thank you for sharing. I used a pencil. Uh huh. I couldn't get the uh, his lips right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. It just yeah. lips are like not quite. Uh, I, yeah. I really liked how you did did his his lips. Uh, yeah, I have actually with a pen you have a little more control on that size. Uh, if you would have done your the drawing a little bigger, maybe you'd have a little more control with pencil. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, but I think I think yeah, yeah, and that's fine. Yeah, yeah, I think I think size wise with the pencil, and I think I have a little more control with the pen. Yeah, yeah, look at that's uh, that's great. Your values are looking awesome. All right, uh, thank you for sharing. All right, very good. Wow, yeah, everybody's like, <laughs> wow, I'm I'm uh, it, it, this is this is awesome. All right, so cool. All right, Anne, let's go and let's see what you got. Hey, so, uh... wow, yeah, okay. Nice. Is that um, Procreate? No, it's, um, you mean the app is uh, Sketch. I think it's like Adobe Sketch or something. Uh, yeah, uh, no, you know what? Fresco, Fresco, Adobe Fresco. Oh, Adobe Fresco. Oh, very yeah. nice. Yeah. I mean, this is kind of like that C. <laughs> you know, it's whether it's like a beard or like a trace of a hair or like. <laughs> Yeah, because it's really bold. It's you need to soften it up, soften up those edges, soften yeah. up the edges. Yeah. Do you have like a smudge tool? Yeah, I do. I haven't used it yet. I just okay. I'm just uh, playing, starting to play with this. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you can easily smudge, smudge tools, soften it up. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna that, smudge it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I I did it dark so you can sh see the the core shadow and then from there you gotta blend it in so it's not so strong. But yeah, yeah, with the, with the smudge tool it, you can blend it in. And yeah, and it, also here I have to feel like here it's also odd because of that dark line and the white and then the gray. Yeah, I have maybe smudge that as well. I think. Yeah, and and squinting your eyes helps a lot too, and with values. So this is definitely a next level. This is oh, this one, uh -huh. Yeah, so it's kind of squint your eyes so you can see the lights and the darks, um, in in the actual image. Oh that yeah. Okay, so that really helps with, with value. And then that's the um, oops. Wait a minute. That's the um. The first one. Ah, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah, the, the expressions are just, I mean, even though they're just cartoons, I mean, it's, it's yeah. And then the second one, I, uh, I, I was playing cool. with, I wanted to put colors. Oh, that's great. Yeah, yeah that's awesome. I had difficulty with the braid. I, you went very fast and I could have said something about slowing down. Yeah, yeah. I, I got it at first, I, I saw it and then you covered it. I was like, oh, what, what had just happened? But anyway, yeah. I just played with it. So yeah, I would have I would have redone it. I would have redone the braids. If somebody said, oh, can you do the braids over? I would have like, okay, stop and then just done the yeah. braids. And maybe even a bigger, bigger um, close up of, of the braid. Yeah, I, I did kind of like rush, rush it after that. But that oh, was thank great. You. Thank you so uh, much, Eladio. I really appreciate being oh, here. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. All right, uh, let's go with Priyanka. Priyanka, let's see, there we go. All right. <laughs> oh my gosh, wow. I think the hardest part was his lips. I yeah. saw mm -hmm. so much. Yeah. But your proportions look really good. Yeah. Did you look at my screen? Did you, how did you, wow. You, Cause you, you got I, you got more of the shoulder and get do all that much. You, you had your own picture? Yeah, I just had a. I just um, looked at the link that you shared, so I had uh, it full screen on my laptop. Oh, yeah, that helps. Yeah. 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 I think uh, there's something with his neck. I think it's broader here as compared to there. So I think something is off in this area. I don't know though. Uh huh. I th I think. Um, okay, so let me see. Ah, uh, hold on. If I can. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Hold it a little closer. Let me screenshot that. Um, I'm on my small screen too. All right, that's fine. Okay, let me see. I think it's it's that that um, behind the sternal class, it's softening that up, and it's just values. It's learning to see the okay. values, just the the way the values are. So so you've kind of like um, delineated it a little bit uh, much, 
Um, I don't know. See, I can I can do it in. Uh, we have other people that need to, want to share. Okay. So um, I think uh, uh, I'll let's go through the other ones and then I'll I'll break yours down a little bit so mm -hmm. we can we can do that. All right, let's go with Marianne. Marianne, here we go. Thank you for sharing, Priyanka. All right, let's see, and then we'll I'll I'll do yours right now and, and share my screen. All right, what you got? Wow. I feel like I, I don't know how to make it look more like a caricature. Like, I feel like it yeah. got too realistic. You did. I was going to say it got more real. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, but that's good. That's good. Yeah, I think, I think um, yeah, the, the angle of the neck and, and how it's thin, um, thinner. So you probably will go a little more realistic. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So that, yeah, the neck I felt like was really awkward, so I kept yeah. thickening it up to make yeah, it yeah, yeah, look real, but then I lost the point of what we yeah. were doing. Of the caricature, yeah. Yeah. Caricature. But no, it's great. It's great. It's so fun. Thank the, you so much. The essence. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for sharing. All right, let's go with a Brie. Brie, what you got? Let me see. You're going to have to share your camera before I can share your screen. Brie? Still sketching away on it. Um, oh. Oh, there, not oh, yeah, there you go. Okay. <laughs> and you're getting the highlights, the highlights that I talked about. Um, now you can tone them down just slightly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, that's, uh, well heavy handed. But that's the way I do it. I do it. I, I see yeah. it. I, I can tone mine down. Uh, okay. But yeah, from there, you can see, okay, tone it down a little bit. And it's those little micro adjustments. But that's yeah, great. You. You, captured them, you captured them. All right, let's go, Danny. Danny, first time. Let's see what you got. Uh, let's see, replace spotlight. There we go. Oh, you've got a screen, uh, screen thing that's stopping it. Wow, wow, is all I see. <laughs> oh, there he is. Oh, okay, yeah, holding it at an angle. There he is. All right, I see him now. He doesn't, he doesn't look tough. He just kind of looks confused. Huh? Can you see it? Yeah, I can see it. I can see it. Oh, I saw it. Yeah, the eyebrows, eyebrows, the, the spacing for your eyebrows are a little, a little, um, and then the shading, but that's good. I'm glad you, you took on the, the challenge. Yeah. You're, cap you're capturing all the, you're, you're doing some good observing. The next step is, is seeing the value and spacing, spacing. So uh, wrap ratios, angles, proportions, and, and then the, the spacing, the placement. Thank you for sharing. Awesome. Um, Sunny, did we share already? Okay, good. I'm going to lower your hand. And then we got Anne. Did you share? No, you haven't. Let's see. There we go. Which Anne? There you go. Anne, friend. I already shared. I already oh, shared. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to take my hands down, but thank you. <laughs> Lise. There we go. Lise. There we go. All righty. I don't think it looks like Snoop, though. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> Okay, very fun. Thank you very much. All right, thank you for sharing. All right, I'll see ya. All right, all right. Elizabeth, uh, let's go with Elizabeth. Uh, 17. All right. Okay. Sorry, let me turn this around real quick. It's all good. Okay. There you go. Oh, you're doing that. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm like Girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's got attitude right there, definitely. I'm like, I'll try to throw uh, my students be doing the, the. I'm sorry. I had a lot of trouble with the lips. I just couldn't do it. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're tough. It's 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 a tough one. It's a tough one. It's a three quarter view and, and all kinds of stuff. Um, how did your other then, ones from that? Did you do the other ones? And then Cassie's with me, so this is her. Oh, oh wow! Yeah, there you go. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like, having trouble with the lips is, is normal. And these these ones, there you go. Yeah. It's all good. You're muted. Man. Okay. Oh, I'm way too shy for some. Right. Oh, thank Dang. you for sharing. There you go. You got the hair, actually. I like well, thank hair. you. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for sharing. All right. I think that's it. Uh, I don't see anybody else. Uh, in the chat let me see let me go to gallery view let's see everyone wonderful work everyone thank you jessica great job lisa uh, let's see that was great thanks a lot all right thank you thank you for sharing um yeah we went with snoop Dogg, uh and uh yeah i think i see i don't know well it's all good <laughs> just let it go it's all good 
<laughs> All right. Um, okay. So if you have any questions or anything, I don't know, we'll see. Actually, we can discuss talking about um, maybe even doing the, um, or if somebody would like to try to leave and then come back, see if, see if that, um, that. I did, uh, I did have a question. I really like the highlight on Breeze. Was it like eraser? It looked really bright. I remember like above the lip and I, I was trying to use it. Oh. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I just did, uh, I think I just, I just left it blank and made it darker, it, like right up to the edge. I did it really dark. <laughs> That's some good self-control is trying. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they were all amazing. I really like Bruce. That's great. I'm glad you guys are giving yourself feedback. We can we can actually stick around a little bit more and, and chit chat a little bit if you want. Uh, you know, you guys are we have 18 people, 18 people strong in here. That's great. If not, we'll see you next week. That's great. Um, uh, you know, feel free to you know come and go. Uh, and uh, I don't know if there's any other questions. Or um, it is 9.20. We usually, we've gone to 10. We've actually gone to, uh, I mean, the first times we were going to 11 with some people. Uh, and that's fine. Uh, but right now, it's, it's oh, I got grading to do. So that's that's the that's the problem. I actually yeah, have a question. Yes. I'd love to hear more about your background and what you what you do. You, you, you talk about your teacher. So you yeah, teach I, do, I, I teach, I teach, uh, I teach art, and design, animation, um, a bunch of other stuff. Uh, so yeah, uh, so I do teach at a high school. So cool. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. You're so talented. I, I really appreciate you doing these. Oh, thank you. Yeah, just just for fun. Just uh, it's it's because yeah, sometimes I don't know. Actually, I don't know. We've been, I've been getting really good. Um, the students have been coming around. It's it's been tough. I don't know. This whole COVID thing. I feel like it's been a reset. And and you know, students. Uh, I don't know. It's 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 it's, it's different. It's different this now. It's, it's it is. So, but it's, this is good. Actually, we started this uh, right when COVID started, actually. It's been a year, a little over a year um, that we've been doing this uh, online. I wish I knew back then. <laughs> That's all good. Yeah, Eladio, I think you've been one of the best parts of COVID. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I know, well, it's good and bad everywhere. So, so I so appreciate generosity talents. Okay, thank you for sharing everyone is, uh, for a great uh, inspiring evening good night all right thank you man. yeah yeah all right so yeah i don't want to like knock everybody out but thank you for the for the for the nice comments um yeah the thing is it's always about improving myself it's it doesn't matter where you're at it's about where you're going it's about you know taking that next step so i'd like to like grow the channel i'd like to grow stuff i know there's a lot of little things i'm working on so it's always just you know like fine-tuning and, and I know um, there's things that I want to work on. So like, ah, I can't, but, but you do what you can until you know better. And then when you know better, you'll do better. I, I really believe in that quote. So just do the best you can. We just do the best we can. Have fun with it too. If it's not fun, then, you know, <laughs> you get when I first started teaching drawing, it was like, um, I had a student that said, uh, I used to like to draw. I'm like, oh, because <laughs> I was like, so I was too, I was too rigid. So I've, I've loosened up a lot more and it's, it's, and it made it more fun. And actually I get, we get better because what it is, it, and honestly, it's just the practice. It's really just the practice, the process and the practice, and then you just improve. But if you over, over evaluate your work, it, it you does criticism will kill creativity. It will, it will. So, so you just got to learn to just like, oh, I was, I was, cause I was hard on myself, like always trying to improve on my drawing. So that that's how I thought it was, but you know, it, you, you know you you uh had another good art teacher he, he's uh he actually got a lot of his students into disney and stuff um uh, dave master he says uh criteria building building criteria so it's like that's what it's about and i'm like okay i took that idea and concept and it's like okay breaking things down and then you know building it back up so that's where you get ratios angles and then proportions you know look at you just focus on ratios get that even you only have to get it 100 percent. you kind of understand the concept oh ratios and then the angles and then you get that and then as you as it all comes together it all comes together and like oh before you know it you're like drawing it's like oh my god you're riding a bike at first you have to think about the pedal and you have to you know it's like there's too much going on so <laughs> i'm the artist whisperer all right cool yeah so just keep at it have fun and uh oh i'm still recording so we'll, we'll call that uh, a night thank you for sharing all right bye Lisa. thank you so much oh you're welcome okay, thank you all right Thank you. Bye, Bye. Bye. Have a good weekend. All right, you too. Thank you.
Good night. Yeah, good night.